had to switch away from the one that wasn't uh, coming up. I switched to this. Please let me know if this is uh, fair enough. Let me try and adjust myself. Oh. Please let me confirm, help me confirm if you can hear me on this one. I'm switching. Please. So it won't uh, confuse people coming in. Hello everyone and welcome. Sorry about the mix up. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Let's go here. I'm bent on doing it today. Okay, you can hear me now. Thank you, Bilonia Mindhack. Thank you very much. I think this is better. Oh, let me see. Okay, I think I have to delete this one because I know some of us might come up and think that's the live. Omo Shuwanjuwa says, I can hear you clearly. Yeah, I was streaming earlier from the laptop, but I don't know, maybe I didn't set the speaker very well or something. So I switched back to mobile. So I think this is good. Jasper Munukpo says, good evening, African Giants. Good evening. Ayebamie, let me call that again. Ayebamie Joshua says, uh, very much better. I missed two full week. I had some uh, very incredible things to attend to and I couldn't make it. I was always rushing every day, but couldn't still do it. I'm glad to be here tonight and I am going to kick the ball rolling. Okay, I'm trying to delete the the one that didn't have uh, volume so it won't, you know, interfere with this. Bright Imole Olua says, Good evening, boss. Happy blessed Sunday. Happy blessed Sunday. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, okay. Bashiru Dayo Mohammed says, evening, Pastor. Good evening. Farika Vetiku says, we missed you very much. It's good to have you back. Thank you very much. I missed you too. Biodo Afolabi says, welcome, boss. Thank you very much. Mickey Richie says, good evening, sir. Happy to see you tonight. I'm so happy to be here as well. I'm trying to sign in from the place where I can read our comments very well. David James says, it's good to hear from you. The giant himself, the devil is a liar. The truth must be revealed. The truth must prevail. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I'm going to speak mainly about two things wonderful. today. Uh, Kenneth Inyambi says, yeah, Sean, sir, long time, long time. MG Beat says, good evening, sir. Okay, good evening. Okay, this one has enough volume. Uh, I'm just trying to check to confirm everything is in order before I fire down, so to say. Raski Tona says, God bless you, sir. You're loved. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm logging in here. I'm logging in here. Let me sound like Funke Akindili. I'm logging in here. I'm trying to get my swagger back. You see, I'm still very cold. Don't worry, I'll be hot. I'll put fire somewhere now. Let's get things started. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, if I drink too much water and I have to pee, what happens next? I must have to excuse myself and stand up. <sighs> Mickey Rich says two weeks looks like two years. Ah, <laughs> it, it looks like so. Even me, my body is not a uh, you know. That's the thing with consistency. If you break your flow, it might actually not be good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to feel my swagger back. <laughs> looks as if I'm. I'm becoming a virgin for this job, you know, like a first timer, technically. Uh, David, uh, did you want to say welcome, sir? God bless you and all of us. Thank you very much. Yoweth says, welcome back, boss. I miss you, sir. I missed you too. I must say, very, very mindful moment says, it's African Giant Time, my number one Sunday tonic. Good evening. I sure missed you. Thank you very much. I do miss you very much as well. Uh, okay. What I have to say today is, uh, I'm going to start from the sad one. Let's let's start from the very sad one. Then I'll move to the good ones. If you live in Nigeria and you are trying to make money online, it's getting harder 
every single day. Things are moving so fast, and most people don't know because, you know, we might probably not have been making money before and we're trying to do it, so we're in the peripheral of it. But scenarios are changing really badly. And it's not a good thing. So, And that's where I'm going to start from today. If you follow me up with the classroom and everything I've been trying to do from behind the scene, you will identify with me that I already could preempt these. You see, when you have a way you want to use to make money, and it's not really, really, really allowed in your country, you are already at a disadvantage. Most people don't know that. About two years ago, when I before I even got to YouTube, you, you have things like ClickBank, which we could open behind the scene. There are some other ways we could use, just like we are using some other back channels to open PayPal. We could open Digistore 24 and use and all of that. But as I'm talking to you, technology had gone past all those rubbish of using VPN or trying to hack something online to you. None, none of those things work any longer. So if you notice a lot of channels, even our so-called big channels here in Nigeria, who are in this money-making niche, uh, if you check their content about one and a half years ago, everything they were teaching is affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing, okay? Because that's like the simplest thing to teach. You don't have to be a guru to teach affiliate marketing. Because you just have to say, carry something here, take it here, you sell this one and make $1,000, you know? It's quite easy. Even for those of them that have courses, go and look at the... And I'm not going to mention names today, because I know some people are looking for me to come and... <laughs> uh, it's not politics. Politicians can attack themselves because they're trying to look for something. But, you know, this one we are looking for nothing, so I'm not going to call names. But then you see that even in their affiliate marketing courses, it's still nothing really, because they probably bring you know, tutorials from their YouTube channels and all of that and stuff it there for people to, you know, buy and all. But all of the hype, how I made $250,000 on affiliate, how I made 73000 on this. I don't know if you have noticed that thing with affiliate marketing just dies down and went away. You know why? Because the back channel we used in opening all those ClickBank and all, no longer exist. If you tell anyone to open ClickBank account for you abroad, as soon as you put it in here in Nigeria, it's banned. They don't even listen to it. So now, everything about affiliate marketing is almost gone because you can only use maybe share a sale in Nigeria. You can only use, and before you can use share a sale, I'm telling you what the scenario is today. I'm just giving you a station report. I've been away for two weeks. Some people might think, uh, maybe why is he away? I'm looking at some trend and I'm already like, maybe we have to come and start preaching Japa to everybody now. Look, I'm not kidding here. Maybe we have to start saying everybody should start saving money to run out of Nigeria. If I keep quiet and don't say anything, it won't be good. Because I'm still in a very good place, by God's grace. But those people who are following me up in the classroom and all of that, you see what I'm insisting on? Very difficult for them. But I'm insisting on it as if I'm deaf and dumb because I already can predict this. If I spent since 2006 till now, that's to tell you that I know what I'm doing if I've been on something. Even if I'm a dummy, if I spent as many years as I've spent, that's like about 17 years on something, I should be able to predict what the market is saying or doing. Everything that is called affiliate marketing today, you need to have compulsory a functional website. Nigerians have an attitude of no work, plenty money. I'm sure you have it. They don't let's beat about the bush. I'll continue to read our comments and, you know, everything we're doing here. Let me see. Looks like there are more comments, please. But I have to bear everything to you so that we know we're on the same page. Right. Okay, looks like you guys are not sending messages again. <laughs> so you can ask the questions. So if I see the important ones, I might probably jump to it as I continue. Nigerians have this mentality of no work, big money. An average man you know today that has plenty money. You yourself know that it wasn't the work they do or the ones they are doing that made them wealthy, at least in Nigeria. Talk of anyone that you know that has exorbitant money. You know, don't look at the money they have. Look at how did they arrive at that money. You can't really track it. He has a shop, you know, do a, a leg back. Uh -huh. How 
the dash shop become 15 filling station? How much is even the shop? You know, you can't track it. So all of us go to, that's why we are spiritual. You know, when your power don't reach something, you hand it over to the unforeseen powers to help you. So now, because two parts of life, spiritual, logic, which is the knowledgeable part. That's why we all went to school. But the truth is, all of us that went to school, how many people are using what they spent in school or what they learned in school to do anything? We end up accusing the school. But even we that went to the school, we are extremely foolish. It's not like what we learned was that bad. I'm telling you the truth. I studied agricultural engineering in the university and agricultural, uh, mechanical engineering in the university, agricultural engineering in the polytechnic. The two, I can't use any, not because they didn't teach me anything or I never studied any book, but because I'm just plain rubbish. Like, nobody trusts the old system to let him make money. Nobody. You don't trust your system to make you money. So, and unfortunately, because the leaders of the country, and I'm not even talking of Bula Balu or Peter will be here, I'm saying the leaders from the time of independence has destroyed African race because that's what profits the West. There's nothing anybody can do about that. I have a very bad news because for those who don't know, if you have a KDP account, Kindle Publisher account, and you link your Kindle Publisher account to Payoneer, Kindle is going to block your account. Let me drink water to that. <laughs> if you are on KDP and you link your KDP to Pioneer, Kindle will block your account. We never know. We never start to... This online money making will crash in Africa that the only two way that you'll be able to make money, or let me say two and a half, <laughs> I'll tell you tonight, the only two ways. And if you are following, you will notice, and please just tell me in the comment, all the content creators that are in Nigeria, we have an element of truth in us. Most creators are struggling with content now as we speak. I'm not talking about those two people that are doing faceless and just how to type name and make $1,000, all those junks. That's not what I'm saying. Like the new people in Nigeria, maybe I'm even going to reach out to them this time, that are really using their faces and trying to build a community, trying to help their, you know, all of the online spaces. I think we are about six that are really pushing something. They are struggling with content creation now. You know why? Because what are you going to create? Virtually every avenue to make money online in Nigeria that is easy to teach is gone. Unless you just want to deceive yourself. Not in Nigeria anymore. The only ways that is still valuable and valid to today, YouTube and blogging, that's all. Every other way, read my lips, every other way has become like a mountain that you have to climb. I teach Fiverr freelancing. I'm extremely good at it. Upwork, I'm extremely good at it because I have, apart from the skills I have, I also know how to rank, you know, across all borders. But you see what I know is not something you can learn in two months like most of us want to do it. It's not something you just know. These are like, even in your best form, you still have to be in your best form. It's like when they say, your mozu has mozu. That's the kind of knowledge you need to attract people on Fiverr. And as I'm talking to you, Fiverr no longer gives people seller accounts like it used to be. That's to tell you things are really going nasty now. Before now, my first Fiverr account was 2011. I did not put anything on it. Like, just open your account, you open your account. They won't ask you for verification. They won't ask you. You can put United States if you like. If you like, put in Jamaica. Put any country. They won't even send any pay notes, nothing. Because they were new. They were from Israel. They are new. But as they got that momentum and things started going well for them, then they started saying, bring ID card, bring this, do verification. With time, they will tell you they want to snap your face. They want to do voice note, to voice call to you, you know, just to verify that you're a human being. You see, the thing became harder, harder. 
at some point now they are no longer giving if you open five accounts they give you buyers account which means you want to buy something online they won't give you the seller's account meaning you cannot automatically become a freelancer like you used to be so the two weeks break that i went away it wasn't like i know i was extremely busy i could have still struggled and come here by 10 30 or something but i was not motivated i was tired i was angry because i'm looking at everything i am making money online i could already preempt it ladies and gentlemen for people who don't believe in what god does and how god leads the affairs of man i'm a very valid witness to this i was doing over my bad month on fiverr was around three thousand dollars when i say bad month and i have people who are in the same thing uh, one of them is even here i usually don't want to mention their name so that absolutely people will not be rushing them you know they are not on youtube so i don't want to expose them we always need to work together those days when i'm doing 4,200, 6,000, 3,500, they will probably do 1,200. And they're always asking me, how are you making these figures? How are you doing these things? Because I am a workaholic and I have speed in everything I do. God told me to go and start YouTube. You know? Okay, I think I'm back. I don't know. Looks like the network went away. And I remember telling my bishop then what God told me to go and start. Like I told you, if you follow me very well, you know the stories. African Giant had been on TV on Star Times. And then I'm like, oh, okay, this is Avenue, blah, blah, blah. Look, check when I started this account. This account I'm on today. It was in April 2020. That was when I opened it. April 2020. That was when God told me. I remember I woke up very early in the morning and when I saw that thing, I ran blue, blue, blue and opened and all of that. And I didn't do anything because I don't know anything YouTube. I just watch things on YouTube. Just like most of us have channels and we do nothing. I left it. Till when Corona started. I think the next year or so. And then, and I started paying attention to it. Like, it took me a lot of time to even gather my thought around it. Even you, because that's the truth. When God tells you something, sometimes it's not comfortable. It's not convenient, you know. It's like you're changing road. But what is happening today in the online space, I think is giving me... That's why I can easily conclude. Because I know that God knows things that would happen before it happens. So it's already shaped me. And that's why people that are in my classroom, I am following you both physically and spiritually. I'm not using open eye lesson. Ordinary eye to follow you. That's why some people insist on that. I say, I don't want. I almost fought with a woman. It's not like we know ourselves. You know, when I say fight, it's like online kind of argument. She will argue, this is the niche she wants to go into in blogging. I'll say no. She said, this is what she learned. She has learned this for three years. I say no. What is the niche, 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 niche? I say no. Now, so we didn't know ourselves. He got to it, I say, it's like I'm the devil that doesn't want her to be successful. I say yes. I'm your monitoring spirit. That's why you're in my classroom. I'll do everything in my power. Look, I'm not selfish about information. I'm not selfish about what I know. I'm not trying to rip you off. I'm not trying to take your money. I'm trying to make your life better. So I insisted. Everything I have, I will follow you up. The problem I have is some people don't trust my judgment as much, so they would go and do their own. And when they fall, Yakata, they will see. And I will always tell you, see, be I told you. Me, I don't usually pet, you are not my baby now. My children can make a mistake and I will say, don't worry, come back to Zadi. But which, which daddy are you coming back to? You are practically even older than me, so where, where is the daddy? So if you make your mistake, you enter your bush and I will do like this. And sometimes I'm happy. It's, uh, physical, it's normal. Because when I'm shouting, shouting, you think I'm stupid. Go and enter your bush. I will do you bye-bye and close the gates so that you can go. Because you have to trust the judgment that I make. These things, like, it, it, it's funny how people who have not done something before argue with somebody who have done it for years upon years upon years and know the results. We are going to Lagos from Abuja. I've been to, maybe if I've, I'm just using it as a proverb, I've been a driver driving from Lagos to Abuja for the past 15 years and you have never driven. Maybe you just took your driver's license. All of a sudden, it's you that I want to drive us. And I'm saying, take this road. You say, no, the map is saying, go straight. <laughs> map is saying, oh, your brother told you you have to pass through a driver. <laughs> because as we speak now, most of us we all rely on Pioneer. And whether you like it or not, Pioneer is a virtual account. 
They say they give you US account in first uh, monument something. There is no first monument anything. It's not a real account. It's like the prepaid account of UBA. It's not real. Because even in UBA, they don't need anything from you. So that's what we were linking with our Kindle. It was paying off until people had problems with the bank that was offering that service. Gray had the same problem. If you remember some few weeks ago, Gray sent a message that they have terminated something with their dollar account and they have... You know, most of us here, we just want to make money, and like, blah, blah, blah. you don't even know what is involved in it. Even me, it took me some time to start studying what goes on around these people. How do I stay in Nigeria and you give me US account that carries my name from Nigeria and I'm not paying tax, I'm not registered anywhere? How does that happen? So banks are using it. You know what they call one road now? You know, in Nigeria, you don't need accounts before. You might not open an account, like a company account, and the bank will open a company account for you, even when you don't have them. There's this, all this behind the scene kind of arrangement. That's pioneer. I to open pioneer and make $75,000 and like, oh, yeah, go open pioneer now. Now, KDPU is like the biggest place you can use pioneer. Terminated. They are terminating KDP accounts because you are linked to a virtual account. Which means they can't trace it. They are angry because, and it's not like they hate us. You know, before I was always seeing these things as a villain. I had to preach. Okay, after I preached a sermon about it, that was when the sermon that I preached myself spoke back to me, because I listened to it myself and I knew that ah, one of the major problems we have is looking at scenarios as if we are the villains. You you look at it as if somebody is trying to attack you instead of seeing the reality. You just want to feel good. All this while, they hate Nigeria. PayPal is not working here. Clickbank is not working. We didn't realize that they have laws and they are charging them multi millions of dollars for any mistake they make. KDP will run into multi million dollar suits if they continue with Payoneer or these virtual accounts on their platform. So they start terminating. Until you can link a US bank. Where you won't see US bank from. Look at where we they live. Where you want to see? People they live for Enoguna or De Lagos. How you want to see KDP account that you can link? So, problem number what? So that simply means the whole KDP industry is under threat in Nigeria. And I trace this nonsense back to expert Naira. When I was shouting here about one year ago, you people thought it was a joke. And when you see that most of the informations that are valid, I keep them from the classroom. Some people think I'm stupid or they think it's money that I want to make that is entering my body like that. It's not the money. Some funny people created KDP. You can do it on your phone. Go and copy uh, PLR books. Just change the name. You know, all those. What is wrong with Nigeria? That is the fraud. You must shall look for a way to cheat the... the you can't... If, if, if you get to a queue, people are on the queue. You are a demon, no? Yeah, ah, you are a demon. You get to a queue. Twelve people are queuing. The only thing on your mind is how to outsmart them and get to the front. Something is wrong with us, oh. I don't know if it's the pure water we are drinking. Or maybe it's the light they usually don't give us. You know, sometimes if there's no light, your head is just hot. So we are not normal. For God's sake, I be say system that is working normal. Nigerians will get there in mass and destroy it. Why would you say you are doing? I was shouting here. KDP on phone is impossible. Everybody that I know, they were uploading jargons, rubbish on KDP, just to make two hundred dollar, hundred dollar because, and KDP is not dumb. When people come in mass. All of a sudden, because those ones are selling KDP on Expert Naira, and they were pushing it, pushing it, they were making direct Naira. They were going to Dubai, showing you that there is money online. Meanwhile, you are the money, you are the one paying them, and then they will teach you how to upload junks to KDP. So KDP is looking at all of you in Nigeria. He says, ah, 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 bah. you people want to destroy this thing we've been operating for years, and just naturally remove people. Pastors from Nigeria, they are deleting their accounts. KDP is deleting pastors' accounts. 
Pastor will get only five books that has been there for four years. They are deleting, they are blocking the account now as I speak. And I'm sure if you're going to be, maybe they have blocked your own account. And they will tell you, you can never, ever open KDP account again. Because Espart Naira, Peonia, everybody, because I'm, I'm, everybody I know that has KDP, I've been tracking them for like three weeks, what's going on with accounts. And it's the same process. But here, those st stupid people on Twitter, and those nonsense people that ask Espart Naira, they are they, in their mind now, they are living a good life. They are destroying this generation online's ability to make money simply because they are making 30000 or 40000 from one nonsense book they are selling. They really don't care. And funny enough, most of us still don't care. See, all of us go, go, go back to our organizer and Uber driving and whatever to sustain. I wonder how you will use that to train your three children, Uber driver. You will come and tell me how you will use Uber driver or tailoring or whatever the Bajanti's job of 120,000 that we are doing to train three children in Nigeria and train them to university. You will come and tell me. Later, you say they are sleeping with your wife. How will they not sleep with your wife? When somebody can give your wife 200,000 once to start business, you know, go, go do claim out. I'm just saying, because me, you see why I did not come to this life for two weeks? Because I'm trying to control myself. Make a new contact with him. No, go, go past all of us. Learn a skill. Learn a skill. Learn a skill. Then no go learn. Look at all my inbox. I know they even reply people again. If you're, Maybe most people don't know. If you message me now, I read your message. Not like I only did. But if it's all this rubbish, I'm broke, I'm poor, I just want to make... If you're broke and poor, you, this is your generation, generation, generation. Which body is broke and poor that will now start making $1,000? Like that. How do you from zero go to one million naira every month? How, how is that possible? How is that possible? And the only two options, I told you it's two and a half that is remain. That is remaining, I mean. Because Baki Zario says, I beg, what's the solution by you? See, when the national community do something, solution is either you japa, you japa, you know, pa, 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 you japa. Or if you are here, you do the one that allows us to work. Because I've said it. Blogging pays you. Google AdSense pays you directly to your account. Bank accounts. They know you are in Nigeria. They know you are a Nigerian. They have affiliation with our banks. They can credit your bank account. That is blogging. YouTube credits your bank account directly. Those two things is what has the most money, even originally before, and is the one that puts your mind at rest, that you can know that provided YouTube is not dead and blogging is not dead, you will earn your money. But you see, any other thing in this online space is a lie because the number of lies have increased now. It's horribly terrible. That's why I told you, even YouTubers teaching these things, they are struggling. Because now they are teaching blatant lies that does not exist. There's no website that pay anybody anywhere. There's nothing. Unless you do these things. And those things are getting limited now. If you have a skill, of course you can do Fiverr. Fiverr is still operational. But it's very stressful now to get. It's not like other you book. You can't really, really, really be sure that you are going to get, you know, you are going to make money as much as you should consistently. Because sometimes this month you can just do 2,000 and the next month you do 100. Because it's no longer consistent. Yeah, I'm sad though. I must confess. I'm very, and not for myself. Baba is doing well here. You know what's up with me. I've been a blogger for, it's going to four and a half, going to five years. And that is making a whole lot of money. You know, the funniest thing is in blogging, you start from zero. It will be zero. A whole year self, zero. And the next one it will go to $100. And the next one it will go to, 500. Next one goes to 2,000. Next one goes to, That's how it will go. Ch -ch 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 like that. It does not end. Because the more you rank, the more you make more money. YouTube, the more you go up, the more it becomes better. Before, when I post a video, it will have 100 views. Now, when I post a video, it will have 5,000 views. 5,000 views, more money. Even if it's $50 you make in a day, that's 1,005. Nigeria money is already on 1.3 million. So, and nobody is going to block anything. This is YouTube and Google AdSense. I am screaming to you, if you can hear me today, for God's sake, 
for the sake of your generation to come and yourself. Because nowadays we even talk about you want to make money because of your parents. Forget parents, forget your generation. For the sake of yourself. I was, I was somewhere today, I wanted to do my feet. So they practically said, oh, uh, for feet, it's now 3,500. And then they were to help me wash my hair and all of that. So they said, another 2,000. So I now called them. I said, come. Is this how you charge people money? They say people know they do. The boy practically told me. He said, senior man, how many people they do feet? Say now rich people, they do leg now. Who go carry almost 5,000 on the fixed leg to clean your leg? Pedicure, not and only leg. And then you start talking of facials in terms of facial massage, just to be clean. And then you do normal body massage. You got to spend about seventy thousand for all of these things. And then you have a wife that will also spend the equivalent because it's only a stupid man that will be enjoying and leave the wife out of it. So making two. And not only that, you put your children as well for the ones they can participate in. And then you are coming on. This one will say, I want to. Yeah, this one I want chicken. This one I want turkey. This one. And then you me buy Coca-Cola, you me buy this one, whatever is it. And then you have spent 30000 And that's not part of the food. It's not part of your house rent. It's not part of school fees. It's not part of your mommy that is sick at home. It's not. You will now tell me how you will not be depressed if you don't have money. Because some of us now, we don't even know what is going on. Just put your focus. As I'm talking today, cancel any plan you have about online money making rubbish. Cancel everything. Face front like this, blogging YouTube. Guys, I bought, okay, this is like my third camera here. I have three cameras. I've, I've done something. I'm. <laughs> ah, nah. Some of us are joking. We, you know, we say, Giant of Africa, we have the mind to work. You know, get, not lie. They just they hype you. you. Most of us are like women that hype themselves. You know, women naturally have they are normal endowment from heaven you know every woman think they are the real deal and in reality they are not because the fact that you have breast or bum bum doesn't mean it's worth anything unless you add value to it it's useless but an average woman think it's useful because everybody say hello hello on the street so they think maybe because a car parked you are not the owner of the car now she be just say hello to you ah yes you give you twenty thousand or fifty thousand you do it what do you go Okay, I say shot fired. And they fire shot today. Because me, I'm not even in a very good mind. So me, I'm even angry. You guys are laughing, but I'm angry. Because I say a lot of laugh here. My shit die, my say, wahala, wahala, wahala. <laughs> For me, I'm so sad about it. We will now come here and be encouraging you, encouraging you as if you have mental problem. What is the problem now? Since I've been shouting here for two years, every life. Two years. So you never hear say na blogging, na, na be the main coco. You never hear. To only write article. 1,500 words article. You are looking for fast money. Where is the fast money? Learn a skill. You will not learn. For, for your presence here, I learned video editing. For my presence. This one, I didn't know video editing. I did not even know the name of the <laughs> of the software that I did video. When I started YouTube, I employed a video editor for about six months when I first started. The first six months, this, this guy, assuming I did not learn editing, this YouTube channel would not have been successful. Because when I record, this boy will go two weeks, he will not even edit one video. How do you do that on YouTube? I had to learn. I practically learned how to operate cameras because before he would come and set camera. If I remove the camera from where it is, by the time I put it back, the ISO is different, the uh, light thing, everything does scatter. So I had to learn. How do you how do you even sleep at night knowing that the whole day you have wasted it? Back to back to back to back to back to back. I, I feel like slapping some people. Back to back to back to back. The only thing your life is tickling about is football and shush. Funny enough, it's not like you know God because your sin is there. You're just going to search for nothing. Your mates are playing keyboard. They are playing bass guitar. They are collecting money. You, you are, you are just there. You are doing usher, walking around like the Coca-Cola. And still, it's not like you're a Christian. You know, if you are that Christian that is a full-blown, bred Christian, who would have known. Everyone will know that, yes, this one is having me. So, one leg is here, one leg is here, and you are suffering with your two, 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 two left leg. Separate, separate. You are still suffering yourself with it. When you should have done YouTube... 
When you are going to your church, carry your phone. I'm going to church. V See, if you do vlog, if you know sweet, oh, people feel no like you like that, oh, but you will grow into it and it will become better. At least you have a shot somewhere in the future that something will change. Right in your press, I have three monetized channels on YouTube. Three. So even if I'm crawling, I will make about two hundred dollars every day on YouTube alone. Because some people think it's money making online. Uh, say the other two now is money making online. I'm not money making anything. Those ones they are normal. And as I'm talking to you, I bought a full podcast item, complete. I did not even stay sane. I went and rented the whole of building for an office for podcast. And you know. I just noticed, I was looking at uh, all this Jake Paul. I looked at, uh, what's the name of this, our uh, Joe Rogan. I'm looking at, uh, what's this man, Jordan Peterson. I'm looking at all of them. All of them are doing podcasts. Me, yeah, they do YouTube. I say, eh. and in Nigeria, the people that are podcasting, maybe like three or four people, a lot of people are not. And don't forget that anybody who is first, to get to a particular industry. Now, them, they lead the industry. There's a guy in Nigeria that got to YouTube first in teaching money, making online. He's on 200 and something thousand subscribers. Not like he's special, not like, but because he got here first. So every other person that comes behind, now behind them, you go there. Ah, when I remember that, I'm like, yeah, right. I carry big money. In fact, I don't want to mention the name. <laughs> big money. Bought all the equipment that is called for one single microphone, show microphone, 270,000. I bought four. I bought, me myself, I know I bought mixers, everything I bought. Make a Google mention the price, but <laughs> so make a Google mention them because I promised myself I wasn't going to mention the figures. I, I was ready to go all out in. I'm not saying it will make me money tomorrow because I'm going to start it on a fresh new YouTube channel. Not like I'm bringing it here. You understand what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Everybody needs to go into something you know has the tendency to make you successful. After all, we went to university five years, engineering five years. It's not like we were sure it will make us successful, but we had to do it because that's the symbol of what we think will make us acceptable to the public. The symbol you need now is money, nothing else. Nothing else. Because my own don't even, maybe it's because I care a lot about people. I pity people because I look at it. Me, I don't even have more like that. But I imagine, how do you, so if you are walking on your street now and you see a slippers that you like and you don't have slippers, you cannot go there and buy it. If they say that slipper is 12,000 naira, you can't buy it. You, you will go. And when you get home, they will just say, like my wife will say, I say, say they are not selling petrol again. Because if your house is hot, your children are sweating at night and they are going to school. You now say they failed the exam. Ah. Rabbit in the village, inside a hole, rabbit on the farm are living more than some people and they are comfortable. All you do is abuse God. Hey, God, why? When are you going to do it? The one God has done, have you utilized it? God gave you breath to think. Have you utilized it? He gave you data to see me now. Have you used what I'm saying? Everything looks and like sensors to you. And I can insult you. I can insult you. If it's spiritual father, I am. If it's physical father, I am. If it's age, I have it. So I can say anything. I'm like Oba Sanjo. I can talk anything. The one God has done, you have not used it. God is even angry now that the people like, say this one a bad market. Because <laughs> when somebody invests in you, you expect return. Our parents instead, don't let me even go there. Some of your parents, eh? If they mention your name where they are, they will just say, Whoa, I, you say, my mommy love me, is always supportive. You are need. Okay, don't let me go there. Let me drink water so I can calm down. <laughs> Your mommy loves you. You are 30 years old. Your mother gave back to you when she was 24. You, ma, you are 30 now. Your mama said they love you. You don't even have a nothing to your name. And you are still shouting your mother loves you. Because she will still call you, God will do it. God will do it. She's encouraging you. You are the one that's supposed to be encouraging him now if you are going to be a reasonable person. And I'm not saying it's your fault. The fault I'm appointing to you on this matter is you know what to do and you are not doing it. It's a crime. They're supposed to arrest all of us like this and lock us up for no reason. 
They just, since we are not good useful to the community, let them just lock us up somewhere and not give us food. Because there is no human being that was created that doesn't have something in him. Even if it's your... I have your Ruba channel. Ah, some of you are, you are dancing naked in public and you don't know. I have your Ruba channel. Because in my head, I'm like, let's say everything is cut and I don't know what I go do. I go speak my dialect on the channel. If I get 1,000 subscribers, look, even if it is $10 you make per day, that's $300. $300 Nigeria money is over 200000 You might not be wealthy, but at least you go feed. You, you will not go to shout Nigeria, Nigeria. You will not, it's not politics that will be your mentor <laughs> or politicians. I need to get more water. No verse, oh. and if you want verse, verse. Me, I know Kuku won't come to the live before. That was why I couldn't come to, because I'm, I'm more than angry. I have to call for water. I need water. I can't continue like this. I'm boiling. And you have to, you should have heard me what I said in church. I almost flogged people today because I'm angry. Enough. 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 It's only a dead man that doesn't know what they are doing again. You can't be alive and be useless in your breath. It's, it's irritating. And we will blame everything around us. I see those people that made it. They, you think I don't have what to blame? Should I tell you something? When I got ready for this stream today, it was 8.35. But I know it's 9 o'clock. I'm going to come live. So I just lie down on my bed. I know I was tired. So I picked up this phone. I've not been to TikTok. I can't even remember how many months. <laughs> so I opened it. I said, let me be using that TikTok to cover up what I have. So I was checking, I was checking, I was checking, I was checking. Boom. I don't know what happened. I just dozed off <laughs> to tell you how bad it was. And then like something just woke me when it was three minutes to nine. I just opened my eye. Where? From nowhere. I thought it was like 11 because, you know, if you doze, you can't really tell... But the first time I woke up, I staggered because, you know, you wake up and I just came out. I just staggered. At the end of the day, it's tiring, it's stressful, you have every burnout. But this is the same man you people will celebrate. Ah, I want to be like African giant. First of all, go and imbibe the spirit of work without cheating. You see, when you have this cheat, cheat, you want to cheat, you want to cheat in you. You can never do anything reasonable because everything you, the high you look at everything is the eye of cheating. Even pastors that are looking to cheat, they, they are not good pastors because they won't be able to pastor any shepherd, any, any flock. Their shepherdship will be wrong because everybody they see is how to collect from them. They will never. And as you look at me, people already know me. <laughs> everybody knows. Whether I come to pray for you, you call me to do, they will first of all start begging, please, you have to collect what I want to give to you because no matter what you want to give to me, I will not collect. And if you give me by force, I will just look around. Anybody I say, I'll give to the person too. I want you to know I'm not doing this work because of personal gain. This is work of God. So don't think we can pray for you because you want to give me every loop. Mm, you give me, I'll give another person in your presence. I'll go. So next time when I come to pray, you will say your amen properly. If I have some, just like I'm talking now. Look, and I'm going to show you something. Immediately I held my phone. Somebody was already telling me, it's in my Kindle Masterclass. You know, we, we always, he's requesting for the money he paid for Kindle Masterclass. Since they said there is an issue there, immediately, under normal circumstance, I have a Kindle Masterclass course that I'm teaching heavily. Am I supposed to come and tell you there is a problem? I'm not selfish. No matter what you want to do, I don't really have a problem with it. My own is, just do what can make your life better. At the end of the day, all of us go die, finish, everybody go end. There is nothing in this world, basically. Because I have this thinking. 600 years ago, why are the people that live there? The rich, the poor, the heavy, the mighty, the young? They are all dead. Uh, Dia, the chief of staff of Abacha, I learned he died today. She never finished. So, the only thing that lives with you, that most people don't know, is even in death. You see, this my body is my body. It's not going to heaven. It's going nowhere. It's going to perish high on it. Whether I like it or not, your beautiful body, your handsome, beautiful, is going to end there. The spirit that is talking through me is the one that goes. 
every experience you have, everything you do is recorded. It's like a hard disk of a computer. It's recorded in your spirit. That's why you see some people will go and be roaming about in their dream. Some will be making unnecessary love in their dream because your physical body had done all of this Jamayama thing and polluted your spirit so you don't have control over your spirit anymore. If you cheat people, you kill people, whatever it is you do, your spirit will record it when you die. That's why they say every spirit, every human being, we face the throne of judgment. Because it's not this our physical body that faces that. It's the spirit that recorded everything you have done, that goes there to answer. So nobody needs to praise you. I don't expect you. I'm not saying things to, for you to come and say, ah, this man is a good man. Uh -uh. The man you are looking at is this physical me that you see. My real spirit that goes to bed at night and sleep. That's the one I'm so passionate about. That's the one that I gave my life to Christ. When they say somebody gave his life to Christ, it's not this body. It's not like the day I gave my life to Christ, they changed my hand or they changed my hair or changed my nose. <laughs> Why did I mention my nose? Because I can imagine how people look at my nose at that point. My nose is big. Let me get my water out. <laughs> don't, don't make any comment about If you make any comment about my nose, I will block you. And I'm serious. <laughs> don't look at my nose. What's wrong with you people now? Abba. It was a mistake I mentioned my nose. I don't mean that. Joshua, be careful. Care, care, care. <laughs> Joshua, Dr. Lucia, yeah. You people are patronizing me. I don't let me be para in my para they go. Biko. <laughs> Aya with Joseph blocked. Let me go and block him. He, he went and put nose. How is it now that you know you want to type nose to here? What kind of nose? Okay, your nose is running. <laughs> it's a lie. You are trying to mention that nose. Another, whatever. Che, you see what I'm saying? Some people are so stubborn. I say no mention nose. Now, you say my nose is running. <laughs> oh, my word. Che, you see, reps of Colonia too. You used to I mention nose. You can't say, but sir, you have a wonderful nose. Did I, whether you are pressing the nose or you are abusing the nose, don't mention nose. Let me get my water. What's this? Kevin? Are they blush? Am I? Abolara Motu at a nuke? Big nose. Can you imagine? So everybody is just now attacking my nose. Ego talker. Good night. We are stopping the stream. After all, I've done about 48 minutes. That one don't do. I don't tell you wait I can't talk today. I don't rant. I've... <laughs> Normally, what I should continue to do now is to explain how you can be a YouTuber and how you can be a blogger. And if there's any support of things, I'll put it there, you know? But now that everybody is... Mm. Oh, I think I understand. I just have an idea. I'm going to move everybody from Kindle. I'm going to move them to YouTube. Yeah. I'm moving everybody from Kindle Masterclass to YouTube. Because at the end of the day, I don't want you to waste your money or your time as well. Because I'm 100% sure of YouTube, 1 million percent sure of blogging. Maybe I'll give them a chance to choose. Because you have to make money online. There's no, I say YouTube, there's no, I don't think there's another way. There is no job anywhere. Baba blah blue, go enter a match, it's May 29 now. We don't even know what is coming. Okay, well, they want scatter Nigeria, they no scatter, they want to, how, how do we even cope? Every single body. And I was, ah, this thing pay me. Oh. Nah, even me, it pay me. <laughs> I have a channel that I do Christian comedy on. But because of this, my terrible camera, mine and all of that, because I didn't build them like staffs to myself. They are freelancers, so they just come in work and all. They practically made that channel not grow at the rate I wanted it. Broshagi in Nigeria. Everybody knows Broshagi. Broshagi confirms that he makes over $40,000 on his channel every month. Should I say that again? Broshagi makes over $40,000 every month on his channel. I know Shaggy is very rich, but I didn't know he was that rich. You know? And between you and me, tell me what Shaggy is doing that you cannot do. <laughs> you tell me what Shaggy is doing that you cannot do. 
No, it's not like Kindle had crashed though, because I think I'm passing a very strong uh, information here. You always say Kindle would come crash with that too. Not be say crash, oh, but it's, it's, I'm looking at it from my experience. It's time waster now. Time waster. And you know why I'm saying that? Anything that can block you is wasting your time. Because now you can, you could have done everything right and everything, and then one year and a half years later, after investing a lot of money, building up your things, and maybe you are making $300, boom, they just block it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You see, on YouTube, YouTube does not block you. YouTube can strike you up to three times before it blocks you. So if you do something wrong, like you can even do something wrong so many times, they won't strike you. They will tell you, uh, we'll delete the video, but don't do it again. They will do another one, you know? Before it took me, I, I was over two years before YouTube gave me one strike. Out of my three strikes, they gave me one. And the one they gave to me, they only said they would put it on my channel for three months. After three months, they will remove it again. You know, like they make life easy for you. If you are sleeping, you can make money online. You know, that's what you should be investing in. Because, ladies and gentlemen, every human being on earth has only 24 hours to themselves. How come my father is not rich and that good is that rich? What's, what's, what went wrong? Because I sat there with my father. It's over 70, and we were discussing these things. They use their 24 hours to chase what to feed. The rich use their 24 hours to chase what to invest in. That's the difference. Not like my father was not working. Right in my presence, my father was, uh, I remember he bought cars for people who are drivers to come and deliver when we were in secondary school. He had uh, Doma. They call it Doma. I don't know if it's, that's the right English. This thing that I used to cut tree. You know, that is that as well. The third, uh, he has where they do battery charging. Because I remember those, because he has a lot of cars for all these people that are driving. Then apparently he has a battery charging place where people come and charge. So he was doing it, and then he has a farm as well, where they plant yam and maize, corn. He will put all these people there to plant and then harvest and all. But the question is, how come he still wasn't that rich? You know why? One, he was doing all these things for survival. Because I remember it was my dad that first started that thing. He would tell you, this farm will give you yam and uh, maybe maize. Then the battery will be money for soup. The doma will be money for school fees. You know, my salary is what we used to be building the house. <laughs> and that of your mom. My mom too was working. That was how I did it. That was not for investment. No other investment. Nothing. <laughs> no expansion. So, after a while, when the doma, the machine to cut all these trees got old, that's how the business died. There was no expansion. My dad was supposed to be expanding. Maybe by now he would have had like three or four sawmills. By now he would have been maybe a multi-millionaire. But no. Because it's easier to look for what to survive on than to power what you are supposed to survive on, delayed gratification. You power it back into what will expand the business. <laughs> you see, this thing I just said, most people can't do it. My wife told me yesterday, said, Babe, why are you spending over 10 million to buy gadgets? I said this podcast. <laughs> you guys will see it now. I'll start production. Maybe by month end of next month. I said it's podcast. He said podcast. Say the word you are doing. Say it has finished me. <laughs> I said, no, it has, it has not finished. Because she was just looking at me. To be precise, precise, it's 13 million. You gonna use 13 million to buy gadgets. <laughs> he said, Do you want to start a film production company? Abi? Yeah, do like that. They call herself. I'm not sure they have all this thing. But to be very frank, the whole narrative and scenario is because you have to give room for expansion. Some people would have said, Oh, okay, there's a Range Rover, I want to go and buy. You can buy anything, oh. You can buy anything. I'm not saying don't buy. But you see business that is investment, that is bringing something, and has ability to bring more, you should try and expand and expand it. That's how Dangote became Dangote. If he was to go and build that and be buying car and be doing birthday, I'm going to Dubai. It won't be this. Delayed gratification. So for some of us, we are not even on this one I'm saying. you. We are still at the beginning. But if your problem is to try and figure out what to do to make money online, you are yourself's problem. Because you don't have to figure anything out. Just go to YouTube or start blogging. Chicken, huh? And you know why this too is important? Because they can pay you to your bank account. The first thing is to be paid. Not this to be paid. Now that they will say, do you know something happened? 
Amazon came DP sent me one money from one of my marketplaces and Pioneer removed all the money. Apparently they said they were to take maybe one or three dollar or something from a commission that comes from one and the money was about three dollar twenty something and they removed the whole three dollars. <laughs> Can you imagine? I made money from Amazon. It came to Pioneer. Pioneer, Pioneer removed the whole money because it says they are commission and they left nothing for me. And you still want me to be using that stupid kind of something. I actually saw like $230 in my opinion account. I don't even know what I did to make it get there, you know? Because <laughs> it's ridiculous. And when you say affiliate, you can't make money much on affiliate because you don't have pay PayPal to withdraw. The Nigerian PayPal that we are using back channel to open, you can only withdraw around $3,700 in it for a whole year. Is that what you, $3,700? Is that what you spent for a whole year? That's if they don't block you. Like even if they leave you on pay PayPal. You can't make more than that. You can't withdraw more than that. So, I hope you people are seeing what I'm saying. Don't let be deceiving ourselves. Oh, me, I can come here and be hyping everything for you, but <laughs> no be me. No be me. At all. That's what I'm telling you. The one that pays you to your bank. Kuku, go and do it. That's what the Spirit of God told me two years, three months ago. But I didn't know it was going to be this bad now. Because you ask yourself, why am I on YouTube shouting? I am making a lot of money on Fiverr. I'm on there. My blogging are doing well to the glory of God. Even my affiliates, because me, I have US paper, so I can withdraw anything. So I'm doing well in my affiliate. And I, and I open YouTube. YouTube now took all my time. So you should be asking me, why am I here? Apart from ministering this to people, which is money making for me, teaching people is ministry for me. Because it's the base of my real ministry. But the question is, if God knows what is going to happen, and he's trying to direct you, and I'm screaming what God that told me. Maybe you, you know the two years from God direct like that. You, it's mirage to you. It's God does say God, they follow people talk. I'm a living witness to it. And now I'm telling you, you see what's happening now. Two and a half, two years, three months ago was with this scenario. Look at what's happening today. Look at what's happening today. I have 1,038 books. 1,038 books on Amazon Kindle. One of my five accounts that was blocked a few years ago, too. I was top rated seller there. Any platform that can block you. It's not something you can invest your life into. Because one day you wake up and you it's like working in a bank. They can sack you. And that's not what you want. You want to use all your energy on something that will never block you, can never sack you. Blogging has no limit. There's no day. Provided you did not do Nyamayama with the idea. It has no limit. YouTube has no limit. See, on this channel, from tomorrow I can start doing comedy. Maybe you will not like comedy, go and subscribe. If I have 100,000 subscribers, can 100,000 people unsubscribe from my channel? Some people will still watch my comedy. That's the simple truth. You see, African dance is funny. It will only take me about two or three months to change your mind. And I am a comedian now. Oh, make money. Some say, I don't have camera. I don't. You tell me that Shaggy had camera when he started. Somebody that doesn't even wear clothes. <laughs> you think they had? When Wuli Akba started uh, YouTube, did he have camera? Everybody starts from the position they are in now. The only thing everybody has is drive. Me, when I started, I had cameras. Because I was already a multi-millionaire from, uh, from Fiverr and blogging and all. So when I came to YouTube, I bought everything. I remember I spent about $3 million when I was to start. I just bought most of those things then. But how many people can do that? Because I was in a good place. But most people start from where they are. That's how it goes. It's all African countries, they've been there. Every African country, anybody that uses Pioneer to link their something, fam, they are gone. They are, they are supporting us now by force. Because let me collect water. I will just tell my wife to bring me water. I don't want to shout. If I scream now, nah, everybody will hear my voice. What should I do while I'm. It's just maybe 15 seconds. No vessel. I feel they talk, they go safe as I do. Let, uh, let Ed Osha start singing so that people will be cold. <laughs> Somebody give us some. Oh, Lord. I'm back. I just didn't want to stress you. I would have uh, probably taken the camera with. Oh, I'm supposed to even plug the phone. Up. Thank God I stood up. This thing will just die PM once. Because I think the battery is low before, sir. Everything is just, is, I'm just tired of everything. So please, guys, let's go to what works. 
I'm going to read our comments and then we'll start, we start moving from there. This one is not one man battalion, not when you are, I'm not happy if I'm the only one that is successful or making money. Me, I'm not. People that know me know. Just ask from uh, the entire now, everybody know. I'm excited when you make it. Because this is not my real job. That's the simple truth. This is not my real job. The church is almost ready. All you just be seeing me, I'm just preaching everywhere, going to Italy and France and everywhere. That's what I'm going to be doing. doing. Ah. So people have to do all of this and make the money. So it will not just be useless here. I don't usually like it when people say, I've seen all your videos and I've not made money. The thing, they, you guys, they piss me off. Because what, what video have you seen that you can't make money with? What, what video? So all this talk, 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 where I do, that one never supposed to make you money. You guys should pay all your offering. Go, uh, be what do they call it? Yes, offering. The offering on this channel is uh, like. Go and like the video as your offering, please. <laughs> like the video. Offering time. Anytime I'm that angry like that, it's like I'm using all the water in my body for it. <laughs> Mystery recap. Smash the like button. <laughs> okay. Now, let me read our comments and then we go back to explanations. I'm going to give you practical ways that you can do YouTube and Kindle. Those two ways, 100%. 100%. Bashiro says, Gray is also a virtual account. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Charis Digital Plus says, Now that I just joined Amazon KDP, yes, you can join it. I'm just telling you, it's not like if you do it, you won't be doing it all. I have another account like... You know, on Amazon Kindle, I have a U.S. account. I have a Nigerian account. I'm just really blessed. I don't know if it's error or something. I usually have accounts in twos or threes or fours or five sometimes. Like on my five, I had about five. I had nine at some point. I reduced it to five. So even that time they blocked one, I still had so many that I was having orders. So I really don't always have one. But look, if something has affected one of my accounts and I already can track what the problem is, I'm only safe. The one that is American account, I don't even have books like that on it because I use it for a strategy. So it's not like my main account. The one that has the 1,038 was blocked. And to tomorrow I see they fight them because I'm telling Amazon, I don't do anything. You go prove to me. They say they can't prove anything. That that's how they do. But I already knew what the problem was. Even this one I'm telling you, not all everybody knows it. It's because I was fighting with them. That was why I knew that it was because of the virtual account that caused the problem. I didn't know. I'm sure when I spoke to that yourself about this, they blocked that accounts too. They blocked Bishop accounts. <laughs> they block virtually everybody I know. Amazon is blocked the account. Except for people who have not gone to check their own. <laughs> but if you have a US account or if you have an account that you did not link Pioneer to, it will be safe. But as soon as you put Pioneer back down, they yank it off. And then they'll tell you you have done something wrong. They will share code something for you just to get you off their back, you know? Uh, where was I? I think I've read uh, this. Okay. Uh, we have David Adeju. One says, welcome, sir. God bless you and all of us. Thank you very much. I hate Christian says, good evening, pastors at DB. <laughs> good evening. Chuku Mbaye says, good evening, sir. Chuks Imasua says, good evening, sir. Good to have you back. Olatunde Michael says, good evening, sir. Happy Sunday. More strength and good health to you, sir. And happy to see you. Baki Zario says, sir, I'm a first timer. Thank you for joining us. I'm sorry today if you're a first timer, I'm just saying a lot of things. I'm not always this harsh and terrible. <laughs> but today I am. It is what it is. I Christian says this is bitter truth too. Things are really getting harder. Only Pastor B always tell the whole truth. Yes, I don't have a choice because like I said, this is this is ministry for me. I'm not just doing this as uh, somebody who wants to make money online or somebody who is trying to sell a course by force. Mm. I can sell anything I like, not to consign you. I can do anything I like, but it's your choice. You have to know. For people in my one on one, they already know. Me, I will hold your no neck and throat till you do the right thing. Because at the end of the day, that's my job. I'm like a medical doctor. I don't play to your gallery. I don't do what you want. It might be painful to me. I'll give injection like that because I know that's what will heal you. And that's what we've been rolling with. Sole says, Good evening, the boss. Waited all night last week. Trust you and your entire family are fine. Let's go. Thank you very much. We are very fine. Thank you. Baki Zario says, but I've downloaded a lot of your videos and they're all nice and lovely. Thanks so much, sir. Thank you very much. 
like I said, when people say, I have watched all your videos. I say, I have close to, the videos that are live on this channel is about 650. How do you watch 650 videos? Even if you say each one is 10 minutes, that's about one and a half or two months work if you don't break at all. So how would you have watched all? It's not possible. If, but the little you have seen, implementation is the key. Even people in the classroom, they are still struggling with implementation. Even one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, look, you have paid me money to teach you things. I am teaching you, you are supposed to do it. Okay, well, write five articles to, for me and send it to me. Let me mark them and see where the errors are. Because that's what I do for people in one-on-one. -on -one. I'll mark it, I'll do, I'll check. Then they will going to use AI. <laughs> Have I ever taught anybody to use AI? Laziness, yo. I don't know if it's laziness. Tiredness, you know. The list of our inadequacies, eh? It's like one million. From one to one million. And I don't know. How do you even desire something that is good when you are not ready for work to work for it? Like all our mentality is stealing, just making money from where we don't like. And our pastors are also not helping us. They will tell you where you have not worked, you will reap. Me too, I always pray that prayer, sir. <laughs> but me, I'm not reaping where I've not worked. Every of my reap are they work. <laughs> but they will tell you you go and reap where you have not worked. Me, why they they are working? You know, say pastor funny. See, I don't know why I can't defend pastor nowadays. So, cause you see pastors, they will be telling you don't worry, God will do it. But they they are working heavily. They are doing evangelism. They are buying new instruments. They are building new churches. They are raising new workers. Like practically, what you should have done in your business is what they are doing with church. That is not even their own business. God's business, they're handling it well. And they are telling you, God, we do your own. And they'll come and give you testimony of people who God has done their own. You can imagine if I'm a church member somewhere and I'm giving testimony every Sunday. In your mind now, you go say, wow. So God can just take a driver from zero, make him a multi-millionaire. Yes, he can do it. But you see the work that you will do is you that will do that one. Because... The work I did, I did it. What God will do, he will do it. God will not come and sit down here and talk to you tonight. But I have to talk on this channel. But God gave me the idea to go and be talking, right? Yes, God has done his own. You do your own. The effort God has put in your life, sometimes I feel like the, the, the parable where the, the man who gave them talent, I want to use the word man, came and took away, the master took away the person that had one, gave it to the ones that had five. Because it's embarrassing for somebody to throw a lot of weight behind you and you are useless in the weight. It's not good at all. Stop looking at the downside. All you see, and I did this in church because we have uh, fasting and prayer for 10 days. I think today is day five. We still have five more days to go. I told them, before we pray anything, because... Look, I don't know. Maybe I'm just transferring aggression to everybody. Because I feel I am. Although most people in church were saying thank you to me and everything I said, they kept telling me this is right, this is true, this is... It. But me, I'm, I'm, I just don't... I'm just tired of this rubbish. Look at what they did with the elections and all. Maybe the aggression is really pissing me off. I told them, write down what you think is working in your life that you think God has done. Write it down. Write everything down. Then the ones that are not working... That you think is bad, write them down. And then everybody started writing. An average person has about 40 things that are good. The ones that are bad is like three or four. Okay, now, what the devil is doing is to distract you, to focus on what is not working, instead of, and I'm telling you plain, it was the Holy Spirit that told me that I didn't even know before. The devil will create pain in your life, not because he wants that thing to be painful to you. But he knows that that pain will distract you from focusing on what really works. What would have brought you out of this nonsense that would have made you outgrow the pain? He will leave it here. And I'm going to start an example. Your house strength has expired. Landlord is harassing you with maybe lawyers and all. Normally, your whole life, you have your children, you have your wife, you can feed, you know. Everything is still going well on this side. But you see that house strength is really pressing you on this side. Some people don't have any life again. Like, this other life that is good is cancelled. Their mother can call their mommy, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. Like, the mother is responsible for anything. You know, all of this side is cancelled simply because there is a house rent that's not paid. 
Now, when they go to work, they are depressed. Everybody, contrast they are not supposed to take, they will take. They will take uh, what they call riba in English. Bribe. They will take bribe. Simp not like he's a Christian, he's going to church. But because he's under pressure, you can't take bribe. Just to pay for these house rent and stuff. And then after I pay for the house rent, you know, then three months later they discover he take bribe, then they sack him. This job, maybe it's 250,000 or 300,000. Now when he's sacked, family members, wife, everybody here, no food again. Till he gets another job, if he gets. Simply because of house rent of maybe 750k. He took bribe. You see what I'm saying? So the devil positions something that will be painful to you to destroy all the good things that you have. For people who are in the spirit and who understands this cunningness of the devil, when they see something that is painful to them, they ignore it like it never existed. You might be telling me, is this that easy? I'm telling you one billion percent. If you train yourself, it's easy. Landlord don't send me come up for house before. And when the landlord came, he was shouting, he was screaming. I didn't even know this at that point, but I just know that, look, I don't feed my enemy. I don't feed my pain. I don't concentrate on it. Till tomorrow I have things that are painful, that I have everything. I don't care. Have you ever seen me having one nonsense emotion that something is worrying me? Nothing worries me. My dad knows. My dad says he behaves as if nobody is important. I tell myself I'm not even important to myself, let alone people. Anybody will one die, make it die. Do you know I had uh, one guy in a men group who was so attached to his mother and he was irritating me. I'm not their family member, I'm a pastor. And he's saying, my mama, my mama. This guy is 32 years old, living with the mother. The mother no agree make him marry because every girl no good. The, the two of them lay there. And then after some time, he lost his first job. The mother started complaining. You know, women is woman. A woman is a woman at any level. So the mother started complaining that he's useless, he's not bringing money home, the mates are working, and they, both of them are living together. So the mother practically became the wife and nagged him to whatever. So he joined church just to pray that God will give him a job. So he reached out to me, and the first thing I saw was the mother. I said, what, what's going on between you and your mother? Because the Holy Spirit showed me. Said, what's wrong with you, between you and your mom? He said, nothing. I said, oh, something is wrong. Something is wrong. So he said nothing. Okay, well, tell me about you and your mother. And then by the time he said the story, ah, your mother is not a witch, oh, but you are already in trouble. 32 years. Ah. No wife, no future, no job, no nothing. You are with your mother. You know what happened? The mom and dad divorced years ago. So the mother took the child and caged the child against a family, the family members of the man and even the man himself. So now, because he's the only child, the mother cannot allow the guy go because now she will be lonely and nobody at home and anything and now she's old and retired. So she did the guy. I love my family, but not that stupid kind of love. <laughs> you can Look, when God created you, he created you alone for a particular purpose. It's not so that your mother will come and mm -mm -mm. mothers have. The, and I, when I explained this to my dad, he understood and called my brother and apologized to them. When I was giving birth to, I did not beg my dad to give birth to me. Did you beg your mother to give birth to you? People that are barren today who don't have children, is it their children that they have not given birth to that is going to mountain to pray? So the fact that you gave birth to me was not to my advantage. It was to your advantage. Reason out of context. If I'm married today and I don't have a child, is it my child that I don't have that will be crying? Who is going to be crying? It's me and my wife. So that means a child to a parent is not because they love the child, because you never even met me. Before I was giving birth to, nobody saw my face. If I'm pregnant today, I don't know the color of the baby in my tummy. I'm just addicted to it, like, hey, my child, my child. I don't even know if it's yellow, green, purple, or brown, or, 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 or let me use orange. <laughs> But people will now, all of a sudden, something that God gave to you to make you, to rub your own shoulder, to make you look good, 
All of a sudden, the, you now make the child look like is is the source of your own problem. When you are the source of their problem, you are the stupid parent that could not take care of these children. All of a sudden, it's the child now that is now wrong to you. No. So I don't have emotions. I told them, I don't have emotion. My job is to take care of you, take care of my own family as well, but you people will give me space to do that. I remember those days now. My dad would say, ah, this Christmas, uh, they, uh, you mention one people's family. That they, they bought car for their parents. I say, uh huh. Uh huh. So why are you telling me? So I will come and buy a car for you. I say, car, call car. When it's time for car, you will have it. Because parents are extremely selfish, comparing everything comparable. A woman called me and told me that his one year old, three month son is not working. That I should come and be praying for him. I've, I've never heard that before. One year old and three months. He's not walking, so I should come and pray. I said, is he lame? Like, are the bones bad? He said, no. I said, it's not working. So if you stand this boy up now, his leg cannot touch the ground. He said, yes, but... I said, so why do you think it's a problem? He said, because all other children that he sees in church, they are walking. Some are not even as old as one year, three months. So I asked... I said, how much do you have in your bank account? He said, 12,000. I said, do you know a neighbor that or anybody that has about 1 million? He said, yes. I said, why don't you have 1 million too? He says, Nigeria. I said, is that Nigeria that is not making the boy work? When Nigeria pass, the boy will work. He said, ha. I said, yes. I had a, one of my boys about one year, six months before he worked fully. How do you even concentrate on your pain? What kind of life? makes you concentrate on what is not working. You will only, you are supposed to train your mind to focus on what is working so you can outgrow the pain. Paul, 14 chapters of the Bible, he had what he didn't like, but he focused more on what he can do. Till, uh, what's the name of this, our God that made that book? Steve Jobs, till he died. Joe had cancer for like eight years. He was creating Apple. All this Apple iPhone, something, something that we're using to stream now. He was creating it. And he had cancer. But look, as soon as they say somebody had cancer today, bam, he don't die. Now help, help, now remain. So are you telling me that your life has no value at all? Is that, for God's sake, is that what you're saying? Like, you know, get everything God sent you to this world, you can't do. You know, get any work for here. Maybe you go to go to sweep your street, though. At least if you die, maybe they know, say, now that man, they always sweep the street. Because it's a job. Write it down and paste it on your wall. Some people are dead. Even their own personal children, don't, they can't remember the date they died. Jesus was so valuable. Over 2,000 years, we they celebrate his death and resurrection. I have to... Look, people in my church know. When I die, my children, children, children to six generation, they will know my name. Not because I'm the almighty. No, but they will know that it is on my head that everything called poverty, lack of respect, pain, shame, stupidity is from my own nine the thing end. And not only, you see, my own is not even going forward alone, no, even going backwards. I can guarantee you that my dad is even better. Our grandpa is even better. Simply because we are here. Because what we are doing is affecting them too. Positively. Call yourself to action. Nobody is perfect. You think this is the kind of face I want? Me too, I want to look like Ramsinoa now. Should be I saw Ramsinoa. Ramsinoa is older than me. The last time I saw him at Transcorp meeting, I told him, he's still looking very young as if he's 35 years old. I said, wow, this is great. This is the same Ramsinoa I used to watch on TV. Uh-huh. But why can't I say, maybe my face is like this. I can't just go to camera. man. My younger brother was asking me, how do you even talk for two, three hours online? I said, I don't know. No, I just they talk my own. Anybody will won't beat me, I did my house. May they come. The same thing that makes me preach. I don't, what's my own? Provided you know you're on the path of truth, you don't have much problem. Talk to yourself. Don't wait for anybody to motivate you or somebody to come and help you. What nonsense? Waiting for help. Helper. If your helper was waiting for an helper, who would adapt to? Ask yourself. Some people are also waiting for you. Because this condition you think is bad, some people are waiting for you. 
If your concentration is to japa, continue to save the money to you japa. At least I have people that are there, they are doing well now. If you are going to struggle for the first one year or two years, good. Good. But for you to have no plan, nothing, you are living your life to whom it may concern. Abba. Let's go. Barida Le Bari says, Good evening, the big giant. Welcome back. Let's go. Gift or Joe says, Good evening, sir. Welcome. Baki Zario says, Hello, sir. I've tried to open a PayPal business account successfully with your guidance, but when I want to complete my verification, I was asked to attach my verification and I used my passport. But sadly, my account was blocked because I used my Nigerian passport for my means of identification. That's not why. That means you have probably used the name, uh, not even the name, you have used an email or a phone number that was used before on PayPal that was blocked. You, If you want to open a new PayPal from this, you know, behind the scene, make sure you use something that has never had any relationship with PayPal before. They'll grant it. And that's how it works. OKSN says, Oh, more small two-week break. On I done fresh. Well done, sir. No, I know fresh, oh. I know fresh anything. I the verse. <laughs> I the verse. Sincerely, I'm angry, oh. I'm angry. I don't know how the old... And this thing is not even one person. In the old thing, this when we're in secondary school and all, you cannot be proud of being stupid. You can't. Nowadays, you are proud of being stupid. I'm telling you, people are proud of being, being crazy. You see them on TikTok. That's why I did about TikTok. I told you, I've not been on TikTok. I can't even... Not, this year, I've not opened TikTok. It was today that I opened it when I didn't want to sleep off. You see the Girls that are supposed... Ah... No dignity, no nothing. See, somebody can know you are a kidnapper like this and they will still date you. They don't care. Just give them and their mama for village money. Like everybody's... Everybody... I don't know what, what to interpret it as to. I don't know. I want to japa. Oh, please advise me. I want to japa. I'm tired. Because it's irritating me. It's, this is no longer... Yeah, I'm blessed. This, I'm not struggling at anything. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's irritating me. F from every single level. You want to be a leader in Nigeria. You are forcing us. Since the Nubu enter, and I'm sorry to go to politics, I will go for two minutes. Please, my time ties now. For, since you enter, I never see where anybody clap three hands, four people clap together, say, hey, hey, say you enter. And they say, now nah, you win. The person where they say do third, Everywhere they mention his name, he know they deal, he did deal, shout we erupt. We already know one like that now. Today, Renan Mokri went and said he was sorry. He apologized to Peter B for saying trash about him in Anambra. Because what he said was, how will he have 97% of votes in Anambra? That means he rigged too. And then Peter B went for Soludo's one year in office and saw what happened live. The guy just came in, the whole place scattered. And as usual, so Ludo say the former governor. Go I don't even know where they are. They feel to that man. Self. The former governor of uh, Anambra State was former governor, presidential candidate. But they ridicule themselves. That's why Igbo people. I know even they take them serious again. You are the governor of Anambra State. Peter Obi enters. You are saying the former governor is here. Is that not ridiculous? When I heard it, I was like, what? Somebody was supposed to say the. Even some people say, my president is here. But because of what? Jealousy, hatred, all of this. To tell you how ridiculous Nigeria is. And that's what we are all in. That's why all of us are like this. Envy. I can start even naming it. Because I typed it down at some point. <laughs> I'm trying to look for which one I typed. Envy, jealousy, hatred, all these things. I have a lot of things I typed. I type all of them. The Bible was even very clear about it. All of this. Foreign pain. All of it. We have it. Anyway. Aye Ban, this is your name. Aye Ben Naimi. I can't really pronounce it. Aye Ben Naimi Joshua says, so what of affiliate platforms in Nigeria? Yes, affiliate platforms in Nigeria are working like the share sale impact and all. But the problem is you can only use PayPal to withdraw money there. So if you don't have a PayPal, how do you withdraw? So that was everyone in Tabush. You see what I'm saying? Only few of them allow for Pioneer. Very few. Uh, 
uh, Sole says, Omo um, Soke Lipi don't enter bush now for the Nigerians. For Nigerians, yes. Or for African generally, because anybody who uses Pioneer, virtual account, it's not KDP that the problem is the virtual account. And they won't allow you link directly to your bank. So now I think the advice, even let me advise now, because I'll probably still continue with uh, people in KDP. What our advice is, let everybody just switch away from collecting with Pioneer, switch to uh, maybe check. If you have people abroad, you just say you want to use check to withdraw your money. And then when it's time to withdraw, you know, there's a limit to it, maybe $100 or something. You now withdraw it to, you know, withdraw to the address of whoever you know in U.S. So they will help you collect it. That way it could work. But me, you see my life, eh? Anything that is stressful or something, I ignore it. I ignore it. If I have a headache now, that's why you see me, I could work 24 hours old without much pain. And they say, how, how do you do it? That's, that's what I do. Anything that is painful, I ignore it. If I have a friend that is giving me a headache, you just go, I'm not talking to you. I'm not fighting you. If I see you other time and you talk, I'll respond. But anything stress and pain, I live a stress-free life, as you're looking at me. Stress-free. If I sleep, I sleep. If I wake, I wake. If I work, I work. If I'm not working. That's why I can have almost 700 and something students now. People in my one-on-one -on -one are over 50 now. One-on-one -on -one that I attend to online. And I'm not stressed. Is it not something that I say I'm fresh now? Because nothing stresses me. Any work I do is what I do. When I'm not working, I'm not working. I'm not thinking about mm -mm. So, and that's the attitude. Even no matter what's happening in your life. Some people are not in a relationship now. Hey, hey. You say, no, do again. Hey, no, do again. The one way they do, continue. Abi? <laughs> it's like that. And if no one is doing, at least if you can breathe, I will enjoy my breathing. Because some people are dead. They are not breathing. And the first rule of life is to live. If you are living, absolutely, you can become anything. But if you don't know how to abandon pain, Jesus had to do it all. Ah, all these are Christians. I don't know, maybe not the back of the Bible with a read. I don't even understand. Jesus was to carry the cross. After some time, he said, hey, this pain too much. He looked the pain, where's the day front? He said, I wish this thing can pass me by. We all know. What did he say next? He said, but not my wish. Oh. Let your will be done. Make I continue to carry my cross. Before that time, nobody said Jesus was the King of Kings and Lord of Lords though, until he rose up from dead and collected the key of death from devil and all. That's how he became King of Kings. And then God said, nobody will come to me except through him. If Jesus had given up halfway, nobody would give him that promise. Oh. He got to go back to heaven, go to play and play for there. Technically, based on what the Bible said about Jesus and God. And I'm telling you particularly, you have to ignore your pains. You can't be celebrating your pain. Ignore it. Focus more on the one that works. The one that is not working will reduce with time by itself. Because you can't eat it. If you are feeling pain, some people now, because they're no girl picking now, they go sit down for hours, think, 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 think. Since you've been thinking for the past three years, you did not have the child. Has he brought a child? Meanwhile, you could have set up a very valid business that by now, no child, though, but the business is booming. So you have something going. And then year four, a child comes, money don't come. You know what I'm saying? The number of children I have is much more than all my brothers, personal brothers. Why? When I became poor, I told my wife, we'll continue to give back to children. She was like, that's not a good strategy. You know in Nigeria, when you are poor, you don't give back to children. I said, no. When we become rich, we won't have time. Because of whatever makes you rich will take your time. You won't have time to rear children again. So this time that our hands are not, you know, if you are poor, you are not really doing much. Maybe with the fire they go so that the children will be here. By the time we now have what to do, uh, you now say, my wife loves me. Why would she not love me? Because practically she can see how I plan, how I move, how things work. Mindful moment, say smash the like button. Please, uh, let's like the button. Be, mm, what, what am I saying? Button the like or like the button. <laughs> but, uh, smash the like button. <laughs> Let me drink some. Water. We are one the stream and 84. Please let's like the like. Let's like the button. <laughs> let's button the like. Like the button. Ah, uh, nah. This Nigeria can embarrass somebody. I must tell you. So, by and large, it worked. Because at the end of the day, you notice when money came, 
Now, he now even became the envy of others. Because you see all these people that became wealthy from the beginning, they have one child or two. That's all. Because now they are wealthy, they are busy. Both husband and wife are busy. They can't have time to rear any children again. But since me, I know get anything, Tara. So I continue to bomb, 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 bomb. That time I wanted nine. Because I told God, if you don't answer me quick, I go reach nine. <laughs> I'll continue. So even if it is Christmas, you people feel me cars with your one and a half child or one that you have. Me, if na boss I enter, they go load children come. House go full. If you go here, ah, who get this one? They say na blessing. Who get this one na blessing? <laughs> At least I don't get one thing personal. Now no go use me do your year for year. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then the money came, the children are there. So you just have to have a strategy. How do you just go to bed, sleep, wake, and then go to work? Is working strategy. The work that they are paying you 73,000. Is, is that a strategy? You are even complaining about the work. Your strategy is what will make you become, when they mention your name, they will say, ah, that man. Hey, hey, that's the strategy. Look for it till you get. And I can even give you, if you don't have, blogging and YouTube. Shikena. Blogging and YouTube. It's like that. Anyway, let me continue reading. As I they read anything where they come up, I go they fire them down. Momo Omezia says, um, please, what's the criteria to get a seller account now? I don't even know because me, I still have five accounts that are seller accounts. I've not really applied for a new seller account because I know you have to apply now and all of that. But it's even like you you can't make enormous money like we used to before. Although my focus is no longer like on Fiverr alone, so I don't expect to go and be doing six thousand dollars like before. Glenn Powell says, I've been going through a lot of sites. I haven't gotten a good one I can make money online on. There is no site that makes you make money online. So you that's how you go round and round and you come back to your house. There is no site that pays anybody anything. So just forget whatever your YouTubers are telling you. Araya John says, good evening, everyone. Evelyn Ude says, Pastor B, good evening. Happy Sunday to you and all the giants. Thank you for coming. Alpha Dan Juma says, good evening, sir. I want to start the class. Please share with me the link. The link is in the description of this video. If you want to join my class, any of the classes is there. Okay. And then we have Evelyn Ude who says, it's like you're, you and I, the devil that don't want me to be successful. I say, yes, Pastor B, you will not keep person. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just have to say these things. You can't let the devil win. And we just keep saying the devil, the devil, the devil. Okay, who be the devil? Where the devil day? Where else day? Nobody has seen the devil. The devil is just in your mind. So provided you allow your mind to defeat you, the devil has defeated you. It's just like that. Because everybody say devil, 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 and we never see the which color of being house, which kind they drive. We don't know which country they live. They say the whole earth, but we know devil is not omnipotent. It's not omniscience. So. It's, it's like that. It's just, you just sell ideas to you that are horrible. It lets you, it make you lazy. It will make you give up on yourself. It make you think the whole world is against you. Make you think you cannot make it unless you travel. You know, it will just be selling stupid, stupid ideas to you. And as soon as you accept, devil don't win. You can let the devil win. And Tortastic Tutor says, Good evening, sir. Great to join you tonight. So my blog, by fire, by force, I must move. I just have to diversify because YouTube is not giving me breathing space. Yes. YouTube is, uh, it chops time very well, heavily. But it is what it is. You find a way to mix it. Sandy Chiji says, good evening, sir. And evening, everyone. Good to be here. It's been a long time. Thank you for joining us. OKSN says, sir, finally, I got a job, but pay power hala. I'm still retaining the job, but the pay is cool for starting. That's just because you're Nigeria. Like I said, everybody japa. If you can japa, please japa. <laughs> Unless you're like me that has a ministry work here in Nigeria. If not for ministry work, well, what would I be doing here? If I don't have where to japa to, I'll go to Senegal. <laughs> I'm going to be living near Mane's house. Just saying. <laughs> the Master Vesto TV 01 says, Pastor, I opened a Great Britain account with Gray. Does it mean there's a problem with that also? No, there's no problem with that until you link it to your Amazon KDP. Then it becomes a problem. Dragzani says, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, Aye Banemi Joshua says, wow. Hen to learn says, now wow. Isho Timmy says, Nigerians. Chika Onyindo says, happy Sunday to you and your family. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. 
mystery cap recap says hello boss fax zone says happy sunday to you and your family sir david adeju says please sir what about fiverr and upwork those ones are working all of them are working not like they're not working i'm just telling you the difficulty with each and from my own advice i don't want anybody to go through a rabbit hole that you can invest three four years of your life into and they get nothing out of it because you're going to be banned it's better you waste your time energy and force on something that would continue to grow and repay you you know generally i hope you get what i'm saying till today i'm not saying maybe a lot of us will still have a kindle publishing accounts a lot but if you do it for three years i've done kindle for about six years and then they blocked it what rubbish is that without you can't even say they can't even tell you why they blocked you because they say it's not their policy so i'm not rooting for them i'm always like that too so maybe because they go and join my side now why did they invest me like that it's rubbish if somebody's going to block you they say okay ah look at this book did you did this way but they didn't it was after fight 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 that i fought with the customer care before i knew it was the virtual account that was linked to it and if you're in nigeria which day we do not link your virtual accounts to it gray gray is virtual pioneer is virtual you see so that's why i'm just saying this so it's just heads up but you know you can continue we'll meet in front <laughs> billionaire mind hacks says youtube blogging equals to dollars yes I show Timmy says, Fiverr is really difficult these days. It's always been difficult. There's no day it's not difficult, but you just, I think you just learn the skill that can make it less difficult. Because most people don't have what they are offering. So it's always difficult. Okay, David Adeju says, please, how can I start blogging now? Just go and join the classroom. Because there's no, how can I join anything? That's the simple truth. You can't just join anything anywhere. Blogging is way difficult than you just starting out on your own. I'm just saying the truth that just go and join the classroom because the classroom is even easy for you because you only pay for the website which is your blog normally you are supposed to buy your blog by yourself after you buy the blog you enter the class everything in the class i teach it for free so just to support especially the online beginners class which is cool mystery recap says please boss my mind is vibrating now hope all the expert naira will not start selling how to do blogging with phone they can't. Blogging is a different level. How many people have you seen teaching blogging in Nigeria? The way I teach it, for example. Blogging is crazy. <laughs> you know why people cannot teach blogging? Why they can't teach any other thing? Anything that does not give instant results, people don't teach it. Because everybody, even now, all of us have like quick results. How to do clinical today, today, and then you start making money tomorrow morning or next month. Mm -hmm. Blogging, one year, two years, you are there. You never make shing <laughs> So you see what the problem is. So they can't teach what does not make money immediately. Me, because of Nigeria settings and online settings, that's what works. Because affiliates work in blogging. YouTube is even better with blogging, so to say. Because whatever you are teaching, you are doing here, you can, you can do YouTube about it. So you see what I'm saying? But nobody can teach it. All the people teaching money making online that you have seen in Nigeria, which one is teaching blogging? Which one? Because before you can even teach blogging, you need to show the proof. So where's your proof? And the problem is even Nigerians, they're always looking for back channel to do blogging. Just to go and use Facebook ad to drive one traffic and quickly make $3,000 and then Google will block their account. They go and buy another Google ad says, ah, Nigeria get problem. Me, all my 24 blogs are like this, are they run them. Open, whatever they say you should do, that's what I do. I follow rules and regulation. I don't mix things up. I prefer to calm down, wait, and do the right thing and make my money because I want peace of mind. And I, okay, now, if anything happens to online, where would I start from, sir? Where do you think I'll start from? Ah, yes, I'll go and collect salary in church. I just tell them, Pastor, don't crash you. Salary, please. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, but realistically, it, it's, it's just there. And content is going nowhere. So, blogging, YouTube is going nowhere. And the fact that they can pay to your direct bank account. I pick my own in GTB, pick my own in, uh, if I like assets, if I like UBA. And they pay you directly to your bank. In your country, no matter the country. That's the one you should be going into us. Not these ones that will be using us to do here. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Biodun Bonojo says, at Mystery Recap, LOL, blogging and website design on phone. No, that's not even possible. Forget. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. Okay, I says, shots is fired. So they say, since KDP is gone now, and I haven't had much from the class, I should, I think I should face my other targets. 
video editing which can help me on youtube video creation i guess there is no class no there is class but what i'm just saying for everyone in my kindu class i will continue your kindu because you know some people are even outside the country so i can't stop kindu class but i just on my own will open another class for kindu kindu people so they can have a, it's like you bought kindu now but i'll give you another class to it so that i just want you to make the money because it's not anybody's fault that kindu is probably going to you know you can do it if it's still going maybe if you have a way of linking another bank account to it you know but if you don't they might end up blocking you in another six months five months depending on when they get to your account you know what i'm saying and i don't just want you to put all your egg in that basket and then it goes away so in my head i'm going to join kindu people whether you are in the class, you are finished it, you are continuing, whatever it is, I will also join you to YouTube. So that you can... And you know, during YouTube, you learn video editing in YouTube Masterclass. So, like what you said, your video editing, everything, how to produce. I'll just give that to you, everybody like that, just to back them up. People on Fiverr are still on Fiverr. I'm not backing anybody up on Fiverr, right? Because that one is still solid and everything is going well. If you're online beginners, you are already there. Everything is solid. You know what I'm saying? If you are going for the skill shop, I don't know. I don't even have people in skill shop. I blocked it. I'm not teaching anybody in skill shop. I postponed it. But I know, see, my whole job is not because you, look, my job is to just make sure you are successful. If you are not tired, I'm not tired. It's only people that give up and they are tired that go. Mm -hmm. Can't force anybody in that region. Anyway. True learners resources, sir. What's the advice do you have for us in KDP class? Because we must keep moving. I just give the advice. I'll mix YouTube with it, so you do the two. But from me, you, oh, ladies and gentlemen, from me, I know they do KDP. For me, oh, person, I have account. Oh, you see, all the training my account is still there. My US account is here. It's working. Everything is perfect. But I can't go and put one thousand books somewhere, and somebody will block it. And you expect me to go and continue putting the book in? No, I know they do. I have so many ways to make money that I'm using now. Why should I kill myself on something that doesn't even make more than seven hundred dollars? No. Uh, the time I'm using to do that KDP, I'll come and be doing my other YouTube channels. It will make more than the 700. You understand what I'm saying? Even if it doesn't make more than up to 700, even if it's 200, at least I'll collect that 200 and be at peace. Not like you go and block me again in front. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. You know this scenario didn't happen with KDP before, so I'm not this brutal with them. I support them heavily. I'm always promoting them. But now, how do you block somebody that has been on the platform for six years? Making hundreds of thousands of dollars, just block the person. And all my money where they did, they, they carry them. They didn't even get, you know, five, if Fiverr blocks you, they will allow you to take your money. KDP did not. They are thieves. <laughs> only, only, only Barao, Naimi KDP. <laughs> anyway, let me continue so we can finish on time. Ayeko Eko Emmanuel, Damilari says, Boss, please, I need article writing course. At least I can learn a skill before having money for blog. It's on the channel. I have an article writing course on the channel. And I'm going to teach one this uh, week again. I have a course that I've already scripted. I'll teach it. It's about article writing. Just subscribe to the channel and uh, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> Fat Zone says, Please, boss, I have a blog that was initially approved for Google AdSense, but due to IP conflict, it was disabled. Since then, July 2022, I haven't succeeded in getting it approved. You can't approve it again if it's approved. There's nothing like IP conflict. You don't do Magomago for Google, be that. And Google know they forgive, forget. They don't forgive, they don't forget. You probably will not be able to open Google AdSense again. Especially with your IP. Maybe if you change, go and buy another modem, get another laptop, or format your laptop, and then sign. start with a brand new email that you will never, ever, ever open another email with from the start. You can scale through that way. You understand what I'm saying? Like you get another laptop or you format your laptop so it will look brand new. Get another modem or browser or whatever it is that will never read your former IP, that will read the new IP. And then you open a brand new account, open a brand new Gmail account. On that laptop you have opened, you will never open another Gmail or mistakenly Pay anything with it. Immediately you put anything. Because Google does not forget. Immediately you put anything that has... Even if it's three years time, they will come and block you at that three years. Their cookie is terrible. Google is horrible. You will never open that Gmail on a phone or in anything. And you can't use the phone number you used for, uh, you know, uh, when they 
when you open a new email, they will tell you to use phone. If you use phone verification of the ones that may attach to other ones on this one, it's gone. So you probably have to buy a brand new SIM, maybe a Tesalat or Airtel or something, and then link it to it on a brand new laptop and use it to create Google AdSense, it will go. But don't go back and use that Google AdSense on the website that was blocked. They will still block you. You see, I'm opening the layers to you. Because now, let's say, for example, they block uh, blessingcloudly.com uh, because of Google conflicts, like AdSense was added to it, and now you open another AdSense somewhere, and you want to come add it to that same Blessing Cloudly, Bagam is gone. So you have to create a new website completely that you use. It's like you're starting afresh. That's why I said, you no, know, they do Mago, Mago and all these things. It's easy how YouTubers and stuff, they'll teach you how you can make $5,000 on the Google AdSense doing nothing with a brand new channel. They will block you. There's nothing you'll do. And then that, that 5000 that you have made, you will not be able to make any money again forever. They just want people to do the right thing. But Nigerians, we don't want the right thing. It's cheating, cheating, cheating. And Mago Mago, now we like, only God will help us. Mix most is African giants. I just cash out the dollars from Fiverr today. Thumbs up for it. Okay, that's nice. Bilonia Mind Hack says we have money in our pockets. It's called the phone. That's not money. All this one is not money. Money, the you, fact that you have a phone doesn't translate to money. The work between having a phone and converting it to money is not something we just talk like this. It's a terrible work. Kelvin Efiapo says the reason I like you is that you are so real. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Biodno Afolabi says, who is that? You see, it, um, I don't know. When I read that message, because I always read every message, you see, I just took it like a pink of salt because nobody makes that volume of money and keep it on fiber. So you can probably tell that it's a lie. I'm on fiber as well because to get 5,400, I make even more than that sometimes, but in a month, but it's not like I keep the money because... I don't know. Has anybody kept money on Fiverr before? That you keep up to six thousand dollars there on Fiverr, because <laughs> you are getting jobs hundred dollar, three hundred, two hundred, one thousand, and you are delivering, right? That's what you do. So by the time the money comes, you withdraw now. Who wants to keep five thousand something on Fiverr to withdraw it once? Nah, and uh, I don't think so. So you see, when I read it, I just read it and said okay, because I don't want to dwell on it. So it won't, because the, my experience and what I've seen. It's not what everybody's going through. Maybe there are some people that offer jobs that pay them $10,000 once. No, I can't tell. But it doesn't look right. So that's why I just ignored it. But you see, Biodon Afalabi is asking questions about it. Taisho team is asking questions about it. <laughs> but, eh, forget that. Noni Best says, Sir, can you please make a course on podcast and add it to the list of those ones in Giant Shop? Yes, I will. You know, most of the time, I really there's a difference between what you read in theory and what you do in practical. You should know that. So, realistically, podcasting, I've learned it for like maybe one and a half years. But theory is different. Because even now when I was buying gadgets, I never ever knew that I needed as much, especially if you want to do video podcast and audio podcast at the same time. Uh, the cameras, the mixers, the microphones, the like the computers used, they just calculated and ah, I was like, I didn't know. I thought I could virtually had everything. But ladies and gentlemen, it's not like that. I'll add it to Jan's skill shop so I can teach everything. And I know that when I start it, I want to start it and do it. I'm going to see that, oh, you know, sometimes all these people that sell things, they just want you to buy. Especially when they know you can afford things. They just start telling you, ah, this one too is good. You can buy this one, 600. This one ah, is 450, you know? But when I use it, then I'll be able to tell. Like, oh, okay, maybe this one we could add, bypass it by using something of 30000 you know? So I can give you real cost and everything. And that's that's what it is. I hear Christian says, this is deep truth though, with that ambiguity. Thank you. David Adeju wants to mix more. Please, what skill did you sell on Fiverr? Anyway, maybe if I keep reading, I'll see. Don't forget that even on, the, on these uh, comments, some people want... Some people to come and probably buy what they are selling or, you know. So it's a subtle strategy to do. I think he didn't even finish it. Most of them will praise the person talking to make them feel like they were the one that taught them how to make it. You know, some people will come to your stream and say, Africa, thank you. I just made $12,000 from Fiverr. It's what you taught me that made me make it. So thank you very much. People in the stream will be like, eh, this person, that means he knows something I don't know. So they reach out to them. And then that's when it becomes, uh, I have some course on it, uh, you know. 
That is just a normal marketing thing. Because, but I don't know, maybe they are not good at it. But they are good. The only thing is, if they don't throw these figures, that's just, it's like YouTubers. YouTuber must say, yeah, I make $12,000 before so that you can click. If he says, I make $120, you will not click. Because you'll be like, what's $120? <laughs> so they have to throw the figures. Because nobody leaves this amount of money anywhere. Okay. Daily Boost says, hello, sir, please. I would like to do uh, blogging, but I don't know how to write articles and my new YouTube channel is not growing. You see, you have to learn how to do it. There's nothing like I don't know how to write. Because you went to school and you wrote exams. So you can write. You go and read and write. There's no way. There's nothing. And if you say your YouTube channel is not growing, learn how to edit. Increase your, improve your content. Your content needs to be able to satisfy some needs. It's not just content. Even if it's comedy, it has to be a good comedy that makes people laugh. There must be an end game to it before it can grow. This channel is growing by itself for the past two years is growing by itself. I'm not doing anything to it. It's just growing because the content there is good. If the content is bad, nobody will come back. So when people say they are not growing, my mind, I'm like, you, you, now you know get content. If you have good content, it will grow. Like this channel, I added something. Uh, like maybe I can even show us that. Because before I bought the podcast thing, I bought for street uh, this thing before. I wanted to show us. Uh, where is it? So that we'll see it. I did, you know, I was just doing things back to back. This microphone, I did for street uh, fun. Where you go to the streets and ask people questions. I've already recorded. I'm editing. I'm going to post it on this channel. And then I bought, I bought the Rode uh, Wireless. Uh, I think I even used this in one of my streams yesterday. The Rode Wireless. So, and the reason for this is so you wouldn't have to uh, use wire. I didn't like, you know, some people use wire microphone and all. I don't like it. So I had to buy this. So all I just do is this, and this is quite expensive. I didn't know it was that expensive. This was about 230,000. Just these things, this road microphone. So this one, I put it there. This one is always on my, like if I'm the interviewer, I put it on my body like this. And then if I'm to interview someone, this one has, I think this one was 30,000 is on. Like this, let me put it. Am I right or wrong? Aha, uh -huh. that's it. So you see, it's like a microphone now. Instead of it, if if I want to record maybe one on one, I can just give the person this. They will tape it to their body, and then we can just keep talking. Your voice will be very clear, as if you have boom mics. So this is what, like, if you look at macaroni and all these uh, comedians, this is what they use. So if you want to shoot, instead of you using, you know, in those days we use all this microphone that you hang something here, hang something, but we don't do that again. Just hang this one on your clothes, and you are good. So, this one goes inside here. So if I want to ask a question, I don't even need to do this. I can just do it like this. Uh, I will just say, are you Christian? What do you think about African giant? And then you start talking. The, you know, the microphone here will... So I'm doing the street something. I'm prepping some boys to do that. It's a part of content as well that I like. So I'm going to be asking questions. You see the first one. I think I should post the first one this week. Because I went to uh, area one. You see, area one, area ten, UTC, where they do printing. I wanted to do printing, and my cameraman was there. They followed me, and that was the day I bought all of this. I just tried it out there myself. So I was asking people questions. How much did you have when you were 20 years old? What business is giving you money, you know? And everybody was gisting. Some people say, I don't want to talk. <laughs> you know, different stuff for different folks. That's part of it. I'm also doing something else to add more fun to this, you know? And then I have some other strategies, very terrible strategies I'm going to use. That one is Nain Sweet Me Pass. Let me even go and look for the titles. I'll tell you some of the titles. I'm saying everything. Because even if me and you do the same title, it doesn't mean you have your view, I will have my view. So that's why I like YouTube. There's nothing like uh, hiding what you are doing. I'm not, Mr. Beast is not hiding what he's doing. He's telling everybody everything. But I know the fact that I told you, it doesn't even mean you can do it. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Even people in my classroom, some of them are struggling. Even when I sit with them, I shout and talk and talk. Mm. It's still a lot of struggle. Some of the topics. The one I enjoy pass uh, more. I don't mix English and uh, this thing now. <laughs> the one I enjoy pass. <laughs> nah. Maybe it's not the pastor. Maybe you take a easy. Uh -huh. I'm trying to read uh, that particular... Because I have those topics. I love the topic. This one... Uh, I want to read it directly. I don't want to miss it. I know it from my head, but 
I still want to read it. Wait, oh, where did I even keep that? Is it on Pastor Blessing? I have folders for each one, so I'm trying to see what's up with it. Where did I have this thing? Are you? Are you? Are you serious? I thought I had this thing very close to the top here. Ooh, ooh, la la, just experience. Okay. Aha, I think I got it. No, that's that's Twitter post. <laughs> I'm trying to look for it. I saw Twitter posts. Hmm. Whoever loves money, we never have enough. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 10. That's a title. I have a Fistless YouTube channel. So I have most of their titles there too. But that's not the one I'm looking for. Are you kidding me? Where did I now keep this? Okay. The one I wanted to say that I actually love was uh, I'm going to be I'm I would uh, I'm going to go like a beggar for a whole day. <laughs> Does that make any sense at all? I'm going to be I'm going to behave like a beggar for a whole day. Nine. You see that? And then I want to see how much I'm going to make being a beggar. So, in the morning, I will dress like a beggar, like that, and then go to where all those abokis are always, you know, and I will stay there and see if people give me money. There will be video recording and my camera, everything on. I'm going to do that. I'll pretend to be, I'm going to be, I'll, I'll do Okada for a whole day and see how much they make, like that. I'm just going to do a lot of things like that, just to see how much they make, whether it makes money, and then recording a lot of it it's another you see how um you have to upgrade this content if you just sit on camera i make seven thousand dollars every day you know so you see i'm also thinking outside the box just trying to get some content to add a little bit of entertainment to the channel so at least if you watch how to make money from pioneer today you see small entertainment tomorrow you laugh and then some people don't even know whether i'm short i'm tall i'm this like i told someone i said a lot of people don't even know how i look it's just hair half face like this that they see they don't know whether i'm fit whether i have big uh, whether i'm zaddy to the tummy or i'm very whether it's six packs or 12 packs you know so this time all those kind of videos will let you see all the 75 packs that we have because all this why i've been suffering in the gym you people have to see my six pack oh, by force <laughs> it's by fire by force you have to appreciate my effort at the gym every morning three three hours ah it's not easy just to keep fit. You see that? You see, it's, I'm becoming like a Kamaru's man. But just like I'm not going to fight. A lot of Samuel. A lot says, good evening, sir. I hear Christian says, LOL. Zadibi says, wasting your life back to back every day. Okay, did I say that? People say, I don't talk with you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I've said something to offend you, I was just angry. The Master Versus TV says, I wish I can send you a bottle of ever water. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kiddies World says, Good evening, African Giants. My dad sent you an email concerning setting up a website for him last week. He said you haven't replied. Maybe it was a wrong email. I reply all my emails every day. I check my email like five times per day. Both emails. It should send to admin at giantalert.com. That's my email. Admin at giantalert.com. Okay, Master Goat says, can someone write 50 quality articles in a month and earn at least $200? You can't write, if you like, write 500 articles. Writing articles doesn't mean that you will rank. This is not how blogging works. You can write 500 and then zero. It depends on, you have to learn keyword research, what you are ranking on, how you set up your niche, the niche you are into. There are lots of back to back. Okay, I mean, you know what $200 is from Nigeria, from a blog. If you earn $200 from a blog today, Next month you earn like 400. The upper month you earn like 800. The upper month you earn like 1,200. You don't even have to do anything. The most difficult thing on the blog is to break through to the level of any money. As soon as you earn money, your traffic will always increase. You don't have to even write more. The one you have written will rank better. And you continue to make money. That's the beauty of blogging. 
You think blogging is the way you work, you make you work, you make you work, you, make, you write 50 articles, you make? No, you could have written 300 articles and make nothing for the next eight months till you rank and then you monetize. Even after you monetize, you're going to start any small, small. Like my first account, first day, I think I, I made one dollar, maybe 12 cents. The next day, another one dollar, 90 cents, you know? Until it became fifteen dollars, thirty dollar, forty five dollar, seventy two dollar, like that, and then sometimes it will come to thirty five dollar, eighty two, and then when you have more accounts, you add more to it. Like I have plenty of websites, so I add more websites, and then it boosts the money, and then that's how I do it. But for somebody just say if I write fifty articles, no, there's nothing like that. You write it, you put it there, nothing. If you write fifty articles on a blog, nothing. Why yes, have nothing? Because what will fifty articles do? You need to pump articles to like three hundred, five hundred. That's when you know that, okay, with 500 articles on a website, monetized, you can go and start the second one. That will give you what you want. We're never ready. This is, you see all this type of questions shows that you are not ready for work. It's work that brings money online. There's no luck. Work brings money. Zero luck. The luck you can have online is if you get a niche category that is very beautiful. Like people in one-on-one, -on -one, I'm giving them niche now. I have about seven, eight niche. I'm tired of creating new blogs. That 24 is okay. So, but the ones I have that are still extremely profitable, which I would have done myself, I'm giving it to people in one-on-one -on -one now. That's what I'm doing. So I'll tell them, I I will leave you to choose your niche. But for people who are struggling, struggling, and they say, okay, please help us. I will not give them one of those niches. I, I think I've given like three people now this month. Each time I call niche for people that I call niche for, as soon as I call, they'll be like, wow, like, what was I thinking all this way? I couldn't even... That's the difference. It's experience that matters in these scenarios. But those are just for people in one-on-one, -on -one, though. And for people who are in online beginners class, and they're always asking me questions as if they're one-on-one, -on -one, you are just angry for nothing, you know? In, in beginners class, you don't pay me anything. Who they call me? In beginner's class, you don't pay me anything. Oh. The money you paid in beginner's class is for your blog. Maybe people are forgetting. 42,000 naira is for your blog. All the classroom courses are free. I gave it out free. People in one-on-one, uh, -on -one, they paid 200,000. So I don't know what you are saying. If I'm not attending to you, somebody even said, eh, hey, when we started, I was always attending to them. Now I don't. So you will not pay anything. And somebody pay me 200,000. It's you that will come and be attending to. Even me, they are attending to you. Am I a ghost? Because I don't even understand. How will I have time to work my own work? If it's you that I see that with asking me questions like uh, I work with customer care. No, now. I'm not like I don't attend to them all. But they will now be asking questions that is above what have been taught in their classes and they want me to come and answer. Some people are having indexing problem now. They will tell me, how do we index? I can't. This is a master class. It's not a beginner's class. You now expect me to come and be doing it for you. I said, no. You go and join the master class or you join one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody move for here. And that's why blogging, you can't just finish and begin it. You can, the one in beginner's class is to monetization. Go and check the modules there. I've even done it to monetization. I will help you design graphics, everything you need, how to write the articles, how to write your title, how to more SEO, more, uh, the beginner's version of the, you know, SEO. I do everything. You monetize. But you see, after you monetize, you are going to be earning like maybe $50, $80. Then you join the big league. That's how you go to a blogging masterclass. And if you want to do it on your own, if you are no Google day there. I won't take no whether you don't want to tie yourself. You are on your own. It's good. I, nobody taught me anything. I learned everything on my own. But for years, I have to continue to learn. So it, everything just comes back to everybody the way they want it done. In realms of Pernona says, but sir, you have. A, oh, okay, that knows thing. Nobody should even talk to me about those now. <laughs> Baki Zaria says, please proceed, sir. I show Timmy says no choice online is the way. Vera Funny Shot says, uh, what's the solution of Pioneer at KDP problem? I don't know for now. We always have a solution to things, but as I'm talking to you, I just identified the problem now. So I'll continue to work on it. If something new comes out, I'll let you know as well. Ego Talk Niger says, I'm just joining you in live. I need to watch this again. No problem. Uh, Alpha Dan Juma says, uh, I want to start a class for YouTube and blogging. 
How do I register? Uh, you can reach out to me on Twitter, African Giant One on Twitter. Or you go to the description of this video, you see my phone number, email, everything is there. Uh, you can join from there. David James says, I am crying here. Mm. Sorry about that. I hope I did not upset you. Because me, I was just saying my own. Or... Ah, that's serious. I didn't know I was saying stuff. Sweet Mart Comedy says, please, sir, which camera is the best for beginners that's not costly? Your phone. Your phone is the one that is not costly. Because any camera is costly. An average camera. Uh, this small one here. This is a Canon 600D. I don't know if, that, let me see if that's visible enough. See, it's the smaller versions. Canon 600D. This is about 350,000. And it's very small. That one is about 1.4 million. Like different scenario. Don't just use your phone. You will let look, look, you will know if this thing is good enough for you to start bubbling money into it. You see me, I'm not even thinking when I want to invest into all these gadgets. Because that's the way. That's the way. All the money, let's say 20% of the money I have came from YouTube plus the opportunity YouTube gave. Because YouTube is not only Google AdSense money. I have uh, sponsorship deals that some people pay $500. I've had $2,000, $1,000. Companies will pay me to $2,000, $2,000 to continue to work for them, you know? And everything came from YouTube. So that's about 20%. But blog is the master. Blogging is the read. Because <laughs> blogging carries affiliate with it. So those two are like massive every month. Heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Then that's stupid KDP too. I was doing small, small that time. Then Fiverr, because I've reduced on Fiverr. You know, at my level now, nobody will tell me you have to deliver one some nonsense before the next three hours. Three hours, maybe I'm even sleeping. So, because I run my time now. That's why I don't like Fiverr, personal. But, you know, for people who are just beginning, they could cope with that. I coped with it when I started. I'm excited when something wants to expire and I'm running to deliver it. But now, I'm looking for peace. We don't pass that level of somebody sending us there and, and, go and do this. Sandy Chiji says, I'm sorry, please tell me what happened to Kindle. Nothing really. Nothing happened to it. Just like if you link your pioneer, they might probably block you. Not probably. They, they will block you. The Discovery Stoop says, sir, you didn't allow me to the one-on-one -on -one class. I messaged you last week. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, if you pay now, one-on-one -on -one is not free. It's 200000 <laughs> You want to join my one-on-one, -on -one, it's 200 k The only thing I did, or that I do, is for people who can't afford it like once, so they pay 100000 to join, because I'm still going to give you a free website of 42000 So the money itself is not like big money. And you have access to all the classes, everything on Giant's Classroom. So you see, that's, and me. So not just the classes, not, it's me. It's me and you on WhatsApp, video call, whatever, 24 hours. People in my one-on-one -on -one talk to me for 24 hours, it's, we are there. Unless you are not working, you are working, I'm there. I'm seeing everything you are doing because you can't do something wrong. Starting from even your niche, from your articles, from the way you optimize, everything. So it's just like I'm the one, I'm not the one doing it, but I see everything you do and I make sure they are good before I pass it. So it's different from people in the beginner's class. I don't touch what they are doing. Uh, if I teach you, you like, you do it well. If you like, you don't do it well. That's just a little difference. Mr. Mike says, is it that there is no remedy for the Kindle issue? I don't know. I'm just telling you what is happening now. It's happening now. Like, just ask people around, check your own. That's what is happening now. So I'm gathering intel. I'm, I'm just angry that I've been saying this all this while, that we should focus more on something that works in our country. But, you know, everybody just needs something that you can do quickly and see money quickly. And even Kindle is not quickly. Because even if you make money on Kindle, you have to wait for three months before you can withdraw. So... Kingston Cat says, please, do you know how to make money on Astera? Is, you know, Astera, they reached out to me. The Astera is what? I think they are, they are not even clean, clean, clean like that. Because I didn't do the something. I saw some of other YouTubers that did the video, but I did not. I was looking through them. I wasn't too convinced that they really do what they are saying. So, Astera is, they, they run adverts on your blog. So you still have to see. Yeah, I tell you, you still have to come back to blogging. <laughs> Whether you like it. the only thing is they might not. They, they don't. Uh, 
say you have to do monetization like Google AdSense, they really don't stress you that much. You can start a blog today and put something today. But even if you put it, who's coming there to watch what? Since it's a new channel, uh, sorry, new blog. So, the banner that Dana nah Zoom it says, Hello, African Giant. Good evening. I'm happy to be here again and wonderful evening, everyone. Okay, S N says, Omo, if worse come to worse, we go to do skits. Yeah, it doesn't even need to get worse to worse. Me, you know, I was a comedian for years. I made a lot of money from it. I just didn't like to be tagged a comedian. That's why I pitched down on it. So I have the facility, I have the ability, and I'm going to do it. Somebody in church even said it to me. He said they saw me in one uh, African Giant movie. I did a movie with someone who was a member then. They invited me and because I can act easy. I can act easy. So they said they saw me. Ah, we saw you. Yeah. But I don't want to go through that line. But skit is good because it makes people laugh. Especially if you have a brand of skit. You know, Macaroni will do put your account number here. He's doing Big Zaddy, following girls, you know. So you just tag yourself. You can do like uh, Yo will do, is it Yo? Uh, or Galan Lord will do Galan. So you can just, you can do Taxi Driver. Just pick a niche or pick like two niches. And then you try this one, try this one. You can do like five videos on this, five videos on this. And then see the one that resonates with people. Even if it's 100 views and this one has 30. And then you do the next one, this one has 180 views. This one has 40. You know that this is what people like. And then you improve on that and then you double down on it. Boom. Your channel grows up. You become very popular. You are a celebrity now. You can get awards from African Magic and all these places. And then you know what it means by the old world knowing you. Even your brothers that are traveled out all of them, they'll be watching you, they'll be like, wow, you're doing great, you know? And so it increases your belief system, it increases your money, it increases your positive energy, and then you become a celebrity. I don't know why people are not doing that. What do you like? Become a celebrity, you are walking on the streets, people are shouting your name. Is that not better off than whatever you are doing today? So if you have the facility, even me, on comment, like, on a, I have a scripts that I've written, but because of those cameramen and stuff I told you, I formulated another one, you know? That is what I'm doing now. We are shooting now. We are shooting those ones now. And you will like it because it's more like uh, what I do in terms of preaching, but I twisted it a little bit. So this one is secrecy. That's what we call it. Hidden moments. So the hidden moment is more like uh, the bad, bad things everybody's doing that they are not proud of, which are like secrets. So they will come and tell me the secrets. And then I give them advices of how to go about it. It's more like therapy. So, and this one is like, so a lot of people are going to be coming. Anybody can come. I won't show their faces, especially if what they have done is bad, you know. And the first one we had, the first one we had, our mom, people are going to stores, yeah. The first guy that came in, his uh, mom and dad got divorced. The dad got married to a new wife. And then he's the son of the dad and he's sleeping with his dad's wife. <laughs> uh, this journey is going to be very stressful because <laughs> when the guy they explain what they do them, if like make I slap him from back because because <laughs> I told you know in that scenario I can't show your face, so what we do is we wear hoodie. I bought one hoodie like Lagbaja hoodie, so you wear the hoodie and then you start talking to the camera. The camera will zoom, will only show your back. So if you are talking and your hand is moving, we'll see you from the back, but with the hoodie, so nobody can recognize, you know, your back. And then, you see, when I produce the video, I'm going to tune their voice. So their voice will sound like a robotic voice, but you will hear it perfectly, but nobody will be able to trace the voice just to protect them. So I'll be asking them questions. Me, I'll, you can show my face and the hall that we're in. Then I'll advise, how do you, because he doesn't want to continue. But he's claiming that the, the dad's wife had fallen in love with him. So, and they are in the same house. This guy is in the university. So it's a terrible thing, man. So now I have to advise. And then the women can come, men can come. So anybody can come and give all those uh, hidden moments. That's, that's another content idea that I'm going to use on our... Uh, uh you know movie page a lot of work a lot of work so when you say my face is shiny i say no shine i do i do work too much anyway let's continue nonny best says 
So I know that Kindle will have issues because of the way most Nigerians are busy pushing out less quality books nowadays. That's why I read a lot of old books because most recent ones don't have experience. Absolutely. Uh, Debina, have I read these? It says, good evening, sir. We have missed you. Please, you have multiple channel, multiple YouTube channel. Do you also have them verify them with the same phone number? Also, would you have to connect all to the same Google AdSense account? Yes, I don't have them on one number. I have about maybe nine or 12 numbers. You know, before, <laughs> some people don't understand, like I'm not like a regular person, like most people. I work with multi-choice. Then I had nine offices. I had maybe nine, 10, 12 numbers. Then when I came into Abuja, I brought all my numbers here. I have, as I'm speaking to you, I have about nine phones. And all of them have some double SIM, some single SIM, all of them. Even this, my iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max has one plate of SIM, but I never knew there was another SIM. That, like my Tissalat line does not use a SIM. <laughs> I went to a Tissalat to swap my line. The SIM was bad, so I now wanted to swap it. Then I said I can use it, they call it eSIM. That's the first time I had it. So I said, this him. They just gave me a paper to scan, like a barcode. I just scanned it. Same, my phone, SIM number begin work. <laughs> so apparently you don't need to put physical SIM again. It's just that barcode. And they sent it to my email. So you can't misplace your phone number. If they steal your phone, there's nothing like my phone lost. Just carry another phone and scan your barcode. <laughs> As in, they call it eSIM. I was like, wow. So I have plenty number. I Plenty. Then I now noticed again that each time I buy modems, like I bought 4G, 5G, all of those something. When I'm buying a new one, they link a new one to it. So MTN said they can't link more than four uh, SIMs. Like one person cannot have more than four SIMs. So it's a lot. You collect four, it's a lot. Collect four, Airtel, collect four. So I can still even have more if I decide. Because I really don't. I think I only have one uh, Airtel which is the one I use for the classroom. I'm going to have more. We just launched a new business and uh, I requested for six numbers from Etisalat. I have a friend there since I went to do mine. So because I remember yesterday she sent me identical numbers. 08199999991999992. Oh, the same sequence. Each of that uh, number is 55,000. And they said they even have the one of 20,000, 25,000. All these things I didn't know before. It was just because I went to swap that number. So they explained to me. So for the new business, we needed, you know, the same number to follow each other. And I got that. She sent them to me that I should peruse because she sent different clusters. So I can choose the one I want. I'll pay. And then it's today that I still reply the message this evening. So I'm still going to have about six again. Number is what now? Should be it's just phone. And since I usually change my phone every year, you buy the new latest one, the old one is there. And I don't dash it because of what is always on it. So I still keep them. Like, this is one here. I'm just, I'm trying to tell you. Because some people, when I'm saying these things, it looks to them as if I'm joking or, or maybe I, I'm hyping. You know, I didn't know you asked this question. How many phones is this? <laughs> this is three. I'm streaming with one. And I'm just looking at the table here. Not like I'm... So you can see, this is four already. And I'm not still, you see, it's just like that. Plenty of phones. <laughs> and just, just people. So if I look, 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 and even the one for African giants is not here. It's because that one is white. I know that one is white color. So that's five already. All of them, two seem, so that's it. And then to link to Google AdSense, yes, the same Google AdSense is what I, for example, on my blogs, I've monetized eight of my blogs. Out of the 24, I've monetized eight already. The eight are linked to one single account for blog. Then for YouTube, the three ones I've monetized are linked to one single YouTube account. It's easier because I always open brands on my YouTube. I don't use different, different emails though. Just one email and then I open brands on that. And that's why you have to be very careful. You don't want them to block any Because if they block one account, it will block all the other brands. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm even thinking about it, like, if one brand has fault, all other ones are fault. So, I think, anyway, because I never get fault with them, so I can't tell, but that's it. 
All right, let's go on. Timmy Sheyi says, Pioneer prevented me from receiving payments from my client last week after using them for 10 years now. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I know they're having problems, actually. So that's what the issue is. They're having problems. Oops, this one has crashed again. It goes fire. I think I've read enough, so it shouldn't crash and over crash it. So let me see. Let's see how that goes. It's really, really, really all these virtual accounts. They are going, they are going away. Because a lot of people are using it for different diverse things. You might not know. You know, you might say, no, I'm not using it for fraud and blah blah blah. But how about people who are using it for fraud? What do you say about that? You know? So that's what the problem really is. So we, yeah, I just advise. I hope everybody can listen to this and even, if possible, forward it to everybody. So it, it's, it will just be blogging and YouTube. You concentrate your energy on that. That's just my own advice. Concentrate your energy on that. Okay. Uh, Mr. Inji says, is KPDP Wala affect the freelancing too? I mean Fiverr. No, 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 no. There's no KPDP Wala. I'm only saying if you link your pioneer to it. This one, everybody is saying KDP has problem. KDP is still working. I have KDP account that is working. I'm teaching KDP in master class. It's still working. But I'm just saying, because if I am here as the shepherd of this house, and I'm not telling you exactly what I know, I'm sure God will not like it with me. I can keep quiet. I have people in my courses. I'll keep quiet. Everywhere you reach there, you will know now. But I'm not saying it's not working. It's not like if you upload your book, they will reject it or they will... No. But KDP is banning people based on one pioneer. And you know, in Africa, most of us depend on pioneer to receive our money. That's the problem. Not like if you're in UK or US or Canada, you don't have any problem at all. Everything is fine, you know? So that's why... Or even if now, if you say somebody from abroad should help you open, they will open, everything will be fine. You don't have any problem because you have to link maybe check or their own account, you know? I'm just telling you so that going forward, everybody will know how to adjust themselves. Not like you just run into trouble directly that way. Not like they've crashed or they are not opening or... Nah, everything is still well with them. So it's not affecting anything. Uh, Gabby Lighthouse says, The Lord is with you, sir. The Holy Spirit led me to call my childhood best friend up and set up a podcast to reach a specific set of people. He gave me the details and how it should go. Podcast ticked. Yes, uh, the, the beginning of it is cool. Podcast is interesting. The only thing is, for your podcast to be av uh, to be successful, you need to plan it long term. Most time, podcast is not unless you're a celebrity. Podcast will not be successful immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like it takes a longer time. It's it's even what. But the way you can bridge it is if you podcast with video. I know you know there is video podcast. Like you can put podcast on YouTube now. So if you are using video podcast, that means you are probably streaming live. Because there is no way you can be recording. You can record. Like what I bought and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream live both video and the audio podcast. And also maybe that Spotify or whatever I want to stream those ones too. And then I will record it as well. Just like I'm doing this live now, I'm not recording. You know, the only live I'm doing now is recording directly to... Uh, YouTube. But even when I'm recording directly to YouTube, I bought a full studio set so I can be changing cameras and so it will look as if it's edited, you won't know. But even at that, I want, I have a, a, what do you call that thing? Wait. Something card. I want to sound card. Studio sound card. <laughs> See the paper I take go shopping. I write everything. It's still here. So the studio sound card will record for you and then you can now pieces that into shots you know shots can go viral faster than uh, from videos because if you are doing a podcast maybe one hour or 30 minutes depending on the uh visitors you have or people you are adjusting with or stuff so you now have to cut it into pieces pieces so it's those pieces pieces that are your little armies that goes out to bring people in whoever likes maybe 30 seconds of this might want to watch the whole video so that's how you'll be repurposing small, small, small ones to the big ones and two of them will just be mixing together and then your ecosystem will keep growing. I'm going to do podcasts on three different channels. 
I have family college channel, which is relationship, you know, marriages and all. So I'm going to be inviting girls, married people, singles, and be discussing about marriages, divorce. That's on that. It's specific to that industry. Then I have the one for money making, which is this one we're doing. But that money making is not money making itself. It's about self help. The channel I have experience with blessing Kulawale, which is blessingkulawale.com. You see, those ones are specifically. It covers everything about self help. From the books you are reading, productivity, how to be successful, money making, everything, building a brand, you know, digital marketing, marketing. All those ones are in a brand ecosystem. That's also for a broadcast. That's where we go and meet people who are successful, business people, ask them what made them successful. They will come to our studio. I told you I got a whole place for the studio. So it's not uh, it's not street or me going to the office. I'll be inviting them over. That's second. Then I have this spiritual one which is the preaching, talking about God. And this one is not preaching like preaching on the altar. It's discussing what most people find difficult to talk about on the altar. So I can bring like uh, Pastor Salman and Apostle Salmon and ask him, why are you collecting tithes, for example? So they start proving the Bible. Whoever wants to argue with that person will also come. You sit your own here. That's how I bought four uh, microphones. So I use one. So if you want to argue, I'll be the moderator in the middle and be moderating. So the spiritual aspect is there, the family aspect is there, and then the entrepreneurship aspect is there. So you see, in my own life, I don't create, I don't like creating something that is one. God never created one. I don't know if you notice. Everything God did is two. Even when he has good, he has bad to it. When he had light, he still added darkness to it. <laughs> so I hate doing one thing. Some people think, ah, you have not even successful with one. It's the same energy. Because when they said, well, if I finish setup now, and I say, welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about, is it good to have sex before marriage? And here with me is, bam, the first one. And bam, this one will say is good. This one will say is not good. Like debate. Oh, yeah, now, let's start. I've drafted out my questions. There's people in the social media would have, you know, given us their questions. So why do you say it's good? How old are you? I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. As soon as that set go, maybe we have used one hour. Production team. This one I'm going to employ all of them. So maybe we have finished that. It's live. Production team will be cutting the pieces to pieces. The editor will be cutting. Next, 12 o'clock. The person wants to argue about church and what happened to Peter and John and James. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After two hours. Thank you for coming. You go. Next. So if we're going to be producing three every every week, three times every week. We'll be having nine visitors, like three here, three here, three here. Off we go. So it's the same scenario. I will just work more. And that's why this channel, eh, if I'm not careful, the end don't they come for African Journal channel like that. Because I might not have time to do most things. But I believe God that He will send people who can work with me physically, editors, you know, cameramen, so it will be because I can't be doing editing camera. I won't be able to do it. But if I have support, ah, uh, everybody will enjoy. Because I just have to record and give it to whoever to edit and I go. So if that is happening, I'll be able to work well. Anyway, we have almost gotten to the end of today's stream. I think we have about 15 more minutes to go. So let me just read the other questions. Master God says, So what about selling services online? Is it profitable and scalable? Yes, very profitable. Especially if you are selling something that people can come back to every now and then. Daily Boost says, Hello, sir. I don't know how to write articles, but I would love to start blogging. Blogging is about writing articles, so you have to learn if you really want to blog because that's the only way out. Prince Chooks Arthur says, special greetings at the B and to, the sp and to special greetings to everyone in the house. Uh, Bashiru Dayomame says, smash anything smashable. <laughs> smash the like button. <laughs> no, come and smash anything smashable. <laughs> Adetox ATM says, I, I, I like this your name, oh, ATM. Will it be possible for me to go for the blogging and YouTube masterclass direct or must I start with beginner's class? Yes, you have to start. With, you can do beginner's class and YouTube. You can't do blogging masterclass. Anybody that is going to blogging masterclass needs to have monetized their channel. We don't talk about monetized channel or how to write article in blogging masterclass. Blogging is deeper. That one is like business expansion. It's not people that are starting. If you are starting, you start with online beginners class. That's when I'll teach you how to design your website, you know, everything are just there. You get what I'm saying? So, different things. Ahi Christian says, LOL Zadi B, say you will go round and round and come back to your house. 
Sometimes all these things I'm saying, I don't even know where they are coming from. Stephen K. Daishi says, African giant, I celebrate you, sir. Good evening, everyone. How about an e-commerce outfit with Facebook adverts and a landing page? I am thinking of trying it out. Is that okay? Yes, you can try it out. But I don't do all of that because I don't like looking for customers. I think that's my weakness. I hate looking for customers. So the way I beat that is to create content. So customers now look for me. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, most people will want to run advert. I don't run advert on anything. Because if you are running advert, you are the one looking for customers. But when I create content, it's free. My content will go out and then customers will see it and then they come to me. You can see today now while I'm talking here, by tomorrow, maybe like five, seven, ten people may, might have joined the classroom simply because I created content that they love and know that, oh, this is the exact thing I need. And then they come. And whoever hates me and says, hey, this, this man, I don't like him, you know, go join. But I've not, I'm not going to go and pay Facebook to come and send people to me that will come and give me a headache, you know? Timmy Max is saying, how do I join your beginner's class for blogging? Simple. I, I didn't market. I did not do Facebook ad or YouTube ad. Because when you do adverts, it's like you're forcing yourself to people. Create content for them. Let them enjoy free things. Then when they need more or they need more details, they will reach out to you. And it's better. Everybody has that understanding. So you won't even have problems. Nobody will be returning money to somebody. You know some people, when they join, I need my money back. Because, okay, I'm talking about KDP having issues. People in KDP are saying, what do we do? If the if an advert, I go carry them, come. They will never show any understanding. Because they're satisfied. You know, people in the class are satisfied because I'm still giving free value. Even if you pay, you don't pay. I'm here. So they are satisfied. That's why I'm not under pressure. If you go and do one stupid advert and five people join your class, and then they say, KDP, you don't do anything. You go return that money by force. <laughs> when they start shouting, only, 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 thief, 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 uh, you know. But no matter if it's content, that's the value. If I give you value without paying me, even when you pay me, you won't feel like I'm a stupid person. You know that this person is different. So I don't know how to do all this Facebook advert. So if you have an e-commerce, create value around it. And you can make money in two ways. Because if I make if I make a video about how to, let's say, use BookBoat to make low content books on Amazon, for example, if you buy BookBoat and the one selling, I make money. The video I used to make that video to BookBoat, YouTube will still pay me money on it. BookBoat will still pay me for promoting them. So you see the layers of money making that most people don't know based on YouTube. It's, it's, it's incredible. And then Mickey Rich says, Sir, for something now, for some time now, I've been researching for a blogging niche. All the niche seems to be saturated. Yes, because you are researching on a linear platform. Research like this. Don't research uh, on a lateral platform. Research on a vertical. Don't go like this. This is how... <laughs> That's why in the online beginners class, I taught critical thinking. Because I know you will get to all these levels and it will be difficult. But I know most people who are skipping all those things. And then they get to where they need all the things I taught earlier, they won't be able to implement. And then they say it's difficult. Look, the reason why you are who you are is because you have not known enough. And that's why we are teaching that enough to help you go deeper. So that by the time you get this, it's easy. It's easy. How do you say you are stranded with niches? Because you can't think more than what you are thinking. Like I told one woman in one-on-one, -on -one, I said, what you are thinking today is why you are who you are. That's why you are, I don't want to use poor. I said, that's why you are here. That's why you are who you are. That's why you are where you are. The only reason you would have a change of environment is not because God will just miraculously push you to a new environment, like most people think, is to change who you work with, who you move with, which you can't change unless you change what you think. And what you think is affected by knowledge that you have. Why am I not a vulcanizer today? Because I already know more. But I interviewed a vulcanizer on the streets, and the guy was telling me he, he has built house in Abuja, he has done this. I said, how much do you make per day? He said he makes 3,000 per day. <laughs> 3,000 naira per day. And then he does a job of 2,000. And then sometimes if God bring market, if he reach 5K per day. I had him, wow. You see all the interviews, I, I recorded everything. I say, wow, that's wonderful. So the youth can actually be organizer. He explained everything. This is machine you buy. I asked them all the questions. How much does the organizer make per week, per day? So you see the video too. It's one of those videos I'm going to pop out because I just want to give varieties to people. Maybe some people want to say, I want to buy a laptop. I don't have money. Maybe you can just do join man somewhere and quickly, you know, I'm exploring all those attitudes too to see what comes out. But in my mind, I'm like, 
<laughs> What's one fifty thousand? Even if you are consistent every day, you stay under one tree, patching tire, doing a bar, you know. Two hundred dollar. Anyway, Mickey Rich says, "Oh my, no is you." Yeah, like I said, if you think it's not easy, it's not. To me, everything is easy. I know care. Because I'm built to be difficult. I'm built. If if God created me to be the leader of everything, why would I come here and say it's not easy? I mean, it's not even in my brain. Everything is easy. It's me that I just need to apply my wisdom or apply my condition to make it easier for me. If it shows to me as if it's difficult, yes, I'm still breathing. I'm not dead now. It's not like lion face me and eat me up. You know, if I'm in a wilderness, a lion just say, uh -huh. And that's not even difficult yet. Because I might probably hack into the mind of Daniel and use Daniel's strategy and say, yeah, keep quiet, no chop me. And if he listens to me, I'm out. And if he chop me anywhere, if they say he's dead, yeah. You know, it's funny. When people tell us, oh, somebody is dead, yeah. He's dead in the world. He's alive somewhere that he was dead before. As I am now, I know the heaven now. I did heaven. No, I'm here. So, I'm also dead there, technically, because I've not been there. So, when you say somebody die here, as soon as you are saying, you, you, you die here, people are celebrating him there that, oh, a great soul has been won for God. This one did not go to a fire. You understand what I'm saying? So, you are going to be alive when you are dead. You are not really dead. It's just a transition. So, just like when we were nothing, we were not born, we became a human being, and people celebrate. Nobody even cares about where you're coming from <laughs> or what has happened where you're coming from. They just celebrate your presence here. Not knowing that everything God created with you to go and use it, and most people will never use it. So, children come here to cry. When they give birth to a child, he's crying. Because he knows the work that he has to do here. Everything is wala. From small picking to even suck breast as a baby. Because mm -hmm. your brain teeth never day. Small time teeth. <laughs> you know, my children will tell me that my teeth has removed. I forgot that it's usually removed for children. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I now remembered. Ah, for a teeth to remove for a child, it's painful. To be painful, mm, they really like this. They, till one day it will just pull. But now that we are going, it looks easy like everything. No, everything from child birth now is difficult. That's why a child will cry when they give birth. Because he knows, ah, I'm in the world. How do begin? But people say, hey, 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 congratulations, you are born, no. But the child knows that this thing is difficult. Funny enough, when people die, people cry, ah, he's gone. But he's happy going to the next place. Because now, that's spiritual. It's like a leveler. Everybody's level now. Nobody's a slave or there is no president. <laughs> no president that will force himself on you. Daniel Lugu says, sir, what about taking a decision to give out 50% of your income to God? What do you want to achieve with that? So that God will give you his own 50%. Is that, did they spend money in heaven? I don't understand all this principle of giving something to God. You, where will you see God to give money? You are giving it to a human being who is collecting it on behalf of God. So did God tell you to go and bring money for him? If you are just doing it because you think God will come and bless you somewhere, that's foolishness. Because what was the trade? What's the trade? You have to work. Use your 50% and go and open a business. So it will give you more money. You can give God anything. That's not a problem. But as soon as you don't see it as give... You know, if I carry 10 million now and go and give God, I'm dashing God, so to say. I'm not negotiating anything with it. But as soon as I say I want to give you this 50% so that you can come and give me 500%, I'm already stupid though. You have been formatted completely. I'm a pastor of a church. I tell them, we are giving offering today. If you like, give 200, if you like, give 100 billion, nothing because I mean, it's offering. You are dashing it. And nobody tells you what to dash. I can't tell you if you want to give up 500,000 or 50,000. That one don't they turn to format. Why would I tell you? And I, I never see where God spend money. It's we that we spend now. We'll build church. We'll buy diesel. We'll buy drum set. It's not what we're doing with the money. And if now a very glutinous pastor, we no get work. Instead of go send the old picking, go London. Go chop your money, use and buy moto. Right? And so what are you? You, you are suffering. Yeah. Ah, I'm To give to God is the sweetest. If it come from your mind. If they have not forced you to do it. If you have not used word on the other to coerce you, to make you feel like you are going to a fire because you are not giving. Because what, what business are most churches do? Nothing. It's you are their business. Which I don't like. At all. When we are building the church, tomorrow we are building. It's over two and a half years. I will struggle and build. People that God are losing, they will add us money. We will build. 
But for me to go and be bullying and be taxing people to, no, 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 let everybody spend it. It's your money now. They say it's God that give you that money. So the one way they pass on hand, now devil give them. Uh -huh. Do you know? <laughs> this thing where I want to talk, no be a good thing. Pass away the church. Go get six million for account. For your own personal account, six million. His children are doing well, everybody's doing. He will face congregation and say, if you want to give one million, everybody come out. Five people will come out for one million. Say five for them. Ten people come out. He said because they want to do roof of church. After they gather that money, 18 million, you carry and go do roof of church. Why did you not add your own six million? So if God wants to bless people by what you said, it's only your member that they will bless. God will not bless you. Why did you not put your at least put two or three million of your money too? Personal money, put it. They won't. Most of them will not. It's what people will bring that they use. And they will say, hey. you see pastors say, hey. we said we wanted to do this window. We have not finished it. What's we are? You, you have two million you can now. Carry the two million and do the window. They will not. So to me, that's why people hate pastors now. Because we know what they are doing. But I'm just telling you, if you want to give God anything, give him at your own vocation. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying don't give God. I'm not saying don't. If you like, carry 50%, 100%. The fact that I even add percent to itself is ridiculous. <laughs> just give God anyhow you want. If I enter church, like when they were building church in a village, church, you not think because I'm you, I know they go there, I don't know. My father mentioned it. I was like, eh, they know the video. I said, ah, that's good though. I said, please send your account number, let me support. I sent very heavy. When I sent the money, my mom, my mom like, what happened? <laughs> because he was like, wait up. I said, eh, I said, it's money. Because you know, I'm look, using the eye of Abuja to gauge it. He said, ah, it's plenty that people with 10,000, 20,000 that they're dropping out. <laughs> and me, I'm like, eh, I see. Now nah, they're locked now. The next thing, my papa said, even my own church will never finish you. I said, say, I can number. Because this one, I'm happy to do it. We were building our own at that time. But you know, Abuja is a million, 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 plenty, plenty, million. But they're out 100, 100. They, they will do something. It's the uh, Russian state now. It's not like huge. They were very happy. They did not even know I was the one I sent it to. I never asked my dad whether you give them or, you know. Those are the kind of giving that really, really works. Not this one that pastor will say they want to do something. They will say all of you should write your name down. And then on Monday, secretary will be calling you. You have not donated. <laughs> you have not. Now I don't, come to, you don't turn to a job. A susu. <laughs> yeah. Sir, you, let me do an example. Hello, sir. Eda, let me check your name again. I got 50%. Eda Daniel, Ugu. You promise God fifty thousand on Sunday. <laughs> I don't know how it works so because me, I know they disturb myself. God called me for work. God is the owner of the church. God is the owner of the work. If he cannot provide for it, all of us will be there. If in our church you people are dropping money, absolutely. I'm happy with that. Absolutely. And the reason why I'm saying this is. If everybody they here and the rats they run, uh, window they open, all of us go there, they praise God. If all of us contribute money, do, 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 all of us go there inside AC. But to force anybody, very wrong. As Tal Buffett says, I'm so happy to see you, sir. I was so worried for two weeks. You didn't come online. Thank God for being a blessing to us. Thank you very much. JC Omoko says, please, boss, how can I join your blogging class? It's online beginners class. That's what you join. Roast reacts is, do you remember me? And what do you think about IG badge and Facebook? I don't know anything about that. I'm not really following Facebook and YouTube. I'm, I'm like a YouTube person, true and true. True and true. Uma Africa says, yes, everybody's looking for quick fix because they are in a rat hole already. <laughs> Steven Kagula says, how much... Is the cost of uh, one blog that I'll purchase before joining the class. No, it's, the, you, it's like you pay for the blog to assess the class. You can't buy the... You, how do I put it? You can't choose your niche yet because you have not learned it. It's like we are, you are just using that. You pay to join. We are going to hold it and then you continue with your class. When you get to where you pick your website, when you pick, you send to us, then we will now buy. That's what we do. Not like you buy it before you join. You just pay the money and... Like we are holding on to it and then letting you go through the class. Because if you don't pay the money, 
We can't trust you to continue whatever you are doing in the class. We won't even add you to the class. That's the way it works. Um, Daniel Luku says, Pastor Blee, please, if I start blogging about stories of successful people, no, 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 that doesn't work. Or doing book summary, no, those ones doesn't work. Nobody's looking for that. Unless you want to do a YouTube channel on it. But for blogging, that's out. Uh, Jonah Yakubu says, Hello, African Giant, what type of laptop do I need for blogging? Any type of laptop. It's not a big deal. It's not heavy. It's, it's just there. It's just write articles. Any laptop that can take Microsoft Word, that will do. Or even uh, Google Docs, it will do. Yoweth says, Sir, I'm seeing some of your class content on the channel. No, it was one of my staff that went and messed the whole thing up. I, I, I've corrected it. You can't see that. I've corrected that. Larry says, Good evening, VC. Good evening. Daniel Lugu says, Sir, I'm writing articles on my personal experiences, but I notice it may not sell in locations like yours and Canada, which are my target location. Now, you get it. You get the point now. <laughs> Sole says, Thank you very much. I've moved on from KDP already with their nonsense. How will one work hard and you go to bed every night praying that you don't wake up being who blocked by Jeff Bezos? <laughs> That's the right word. Not like they will block you, they might not block you, but one day they will still get to that rubbish. So, my own strategy is don't don't waste that. If you've worked on something for six years and then you wake up, they block you for doing nothing. Absolute nothing. That's not good. So let's say Jeff Bezos is known for doing this on most of his platform. He did it when I was on MTalk 2 during COVID. I will just put all my energy in the YouTube class when you had us. It's, it's, I think that's it. He did it with uh, uh, this Amazon... Uh, Amazon... I can't remember. I'm trying to remember. The they are print on demand where you can sell merchandises and stuff like this. He did it there too. Very terrible man. Uh Rose Reacts says, What do you think about TikTok badge and meta? I don't know about TikTok and Meta, but Facebook, I think. I don't really know about those things. I've never even had it before. Isaac Johnson says, honestly, the work between the phone and the money is not beans. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, Rose React says, uh, how can I buy a US SIM card in Nigeria? I don't know. I never bought one. I only bought for UK. I've never bought for US. So I don't know. Most times, if I want to get anything from US, I have brothers and even one of my staff is in US now. That one does virtually everything for me. It was a staff here. It was one of our staff that was working before. So he got admission to US and he left. So anything, he knows the job. Like if I need anything, he already knows what we're doing. So he can help out with that. Uh, Rose Triax says, can you sell for your subscribers? No, I can't go through, you know, this type of business is what, what is he 100,000? Maybe something you sell for 15,000. I will now be running a task for 15,000. No, I have some more money now. I'm a big man now. <laughs> don't mind me. But I don't waste time on, you know, I just do something that is huge. That's what I learned. I learned it very late. You can focus your energy on something that will bring you 50,000. It will still bring 50. And you can focus on something that gives you 50 million. It will still bring 50 million. So me, I've learned to focus on the things that bring plenty money, even if it won't bring it immediately. That's the one I'm focusing on. I no longer do petty petty things again. Now, nah. I came but day, Isaac says, is there any way around pioneer verification? No way. You have to submit whatever they ask. Raise board empire says, please, what do you advise? What advice do you have? For the Facebook monetization. My Facebook account is uh, doing amazingly well. I've been notified to start monetization, but I can't monetize it because I'm a Nigerian that stays in Niger. Yes, but that's the way they do it. That's the way they go about it. I studied it uh, for some time. I implemented it. But you see, like I said, anything that does not allow me to do straight as a Nigerian, I don't go towards it. That's why you can't see any of my content on Facebook yet. I'm just waiting for them to monetize Nigeria. Or if I feel like there's a way they can help me from US or UK that I won't have a potential, then I can invest more into it. A lot of people reach out to me now. They say, please let us use your content on Facebook. I said, if you use it, I'll block you. Don't use my content. I'm not stupid. I know it's money. you can use it to make money. But for now, I'm just looking at it. I want the best option before I uh, improvise and go into it. So this one, I don't know what it is. If you stay in Nigeria, there's a way, but sometimes they might still get you and ban you again. It's just, just out of what has in Nigeria. Olade Jiowa says, please, sir, uh, what can I do to unban my account of PayPal? Nothing. If they ban you, that's the end. Even if you live in the US and PayPal bans you, that's the end. 
this and bars entertainment says so please i have a kdp account but what is the way i can make money from it what's the easiest thing to do okay anybody that mentioned easiest to me i know they've answered them again osi says please why is amazon not sending otp to create uh, an amazon account they are not sending otp to nigeria again i think that i also missed if you want to open an amazon kdp account today they won't send the otp to you if you put nigeria account so technically they ban nigeria that's what it means for people who don't know okay <laughs> Axon says, actually, what happened was I published a post in the morning of the day when I traveled to another state. The same day I tried to publish another article. So, uh, there's no continuation of that. I'm not sure I understand that. Master Go says, uh, Facebook is a gold mine now. A content creator confirms he gets $100,000 every month. Yes, but that content creator does not live in Nigeria. And if they live in Nigeria, they have a way they go around it. It's just like YouTube monetization. Uh, Facebook too is monetized. But you know, they didn't open to everybody. I don't know, Nigeria, eh? We get problem. Everybody is afraid of Nigerians. People that sell things, they will ban Nigeria IP. To tell you how bad it is. <laughs> Charity Uzo says, African Giants, is your class only online? Yes, online only. OKS N says, the struggle is real. Absolutely. Jinabaya Dazumi says, Good evening, Pastor B. I have not seen my email code registration. Email code registration. What does that mean? Sorry, I don't understand what that means. Email code registration. I don't know what it means. Chooks Imaswa says, please, sir. I don't think it will work. With over 90,000 subscribers on YouTube, you are a celebrity now. I don't think it will work. Chooks Imaswa, what will not work? You see, when you, please, when you make comments, make complete comments so I can understand. Like, I've not read anything from you before. I don't think it will work. I have 90K. I'm celebrity. But what celebrity in 90K? And I didn't even just have 90K by myself. I started from zero two years ago as well. It's like that. You see, that's the narrative with everybody. You think people that made it are lucky. I worked my ass out to get to where I am today. And I'm telling you, work your ass out too. It's like that. Is that not the whole essence of what we're saying? Okay, I, mean, I remember when I was in 100 subscribers and uh, VDAQ sent me congratulations, you have 100 subscribers. It's like that. I remember when I was, I was stuck on 283 subscribers for about one week. Stuck, like it will go up, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> so I thought and thought and that, check this channel, you see, article writing for beginners. That's one of the, at the time I thought article writing for beginners, most people don't know how to write article. I was, <laughs> uh, I was making a lot of money from Fiverr then writing articles. But I had to teach it. So I thought two of the strategies of like five strategies we used to write articles, I thought the first two. Immediately I thought that two something. You know, it's incredible. Most people don't know how to do it. They don't know it. So when I thought it, boom, the, the video just took off. And when the video took off, the next one I made, which is $20 from Google, I used a strategy from uh, SEMrush then. That one too, took off and followed it. Then I knock it with Pioneer Introduction, knock it with ClickBank, that, then we can open ClickBank, back to back to back. One month, nine days, I got monetized because I was creating valuable content back to back, which I know. I've been online for months, uh, for years before I came to YouTube. So you can't just say 90, what's 90,000? What, what are you saying? <laughs> Anybody that grows on YouTube now, plenty work oh. Look at me talking for how many hours now? I think I spoke, I started nine, almost 12. Three hours talking to what? To myself. You can talk to yourself on camera for three hours on your channel. Maybe you'll not grow. Do it every Sunday. You'll grow. But you won't do it. Create content. See how many content I want to create. Oh, sorry about that. See how many content I want to create and I've scheduled out. Of course, I'll create those contents and then this channel will go to 250,000 and then they say, what? Of course, you have to work. Okay, I says, no be juju be that. <laughs> I hear, I hear Pekun Emmanuel say, sir, do you have Uber Suggest on 247? The Uber Suggest I have is not the login. I'll do the research for you and send about 50 or 60 keyword to you that you can rank on based on your website that you sent to me. I do the research. That's what we're selling. Not keyword, uh, not login. Uh, Timmy Gibbs says, good to be here. Believer says, please, what's the difference between beginner's class and the one-on-one? -on -one? Beginner's class is just one class. It's like one course in a department. 
One on one is the whole nine courses that we have. So from affiliate marketing, blogging masterclass, KDP masterclass, Fiverr masterclass, Jan Skill Shop, YouTube masterclass, online beginners class, all of them, everything is in one on one. You go through everything, you implement on everything with me. Not like you just go through the class. It's like we are doing it together. I'm teaching you, and that's what it means. Uh, Olu Jimmy Akere Le says, Hello, 247 class where I block my IP, I can't register. Yes, because there are some IPs that are time fraudulent, so they block them. There's nothing I could do to that, actually, unless you change your IP. Believer says, I'm, I want to learn on only blogging from you, sir. I'm ready to work. It's still beginner's class you join to learn blogging. Online beginner's class is what you join. David Adeju one says, but sir, can we link PayPal to Fiverr and Upwork? Yes, but I don't advise you do because your PayPal, unless you have your US PayPal that is uh, that doesn't have limits, you only be able to withdraw three thousand seven hundred. And if you link that, you're on your own. Just use your Upwork to collect money directly into your bank, and then use your Fiverr on Pioneer. That's fair enough. Okay. <clears throat> Atimi Gibbs says, please share more light on the difference between your personal class and group class. I think I just did that. What's personal group? Personal class is one-on-one. -on -one. Group class is uh, online beginners class. The thing is, I'll teach you, but you can't come and be asking me questions or telling me to help you out. Maybe, for example, people in one-on-one, -on -one, maybe their website is not doing well somewhere, I'm going to help them do it. You understand? That's one on one. I'm supporting you. That's what it means. Maybe you are trying to create an email sequence and you are not getting what is going on or systemic. I know all these things. I've done it. You know, normally people that reach out to me, I'm supposed to be charging them and be collecting money to do all these things. But if you are one on one, I do it for you. That's the whole essence of one on one. That's the whole essence. So, not like you won't know it. You have to learn it. You have to do it. But if you are doing it and it's just like a student in an exam hall that uh, I want a, I want a student to have maybe 70 plus. And I know this way that you are going, this number three, you are not doing it well. Oh. And I'm telling you, I'm doing my hand like this, that 10 is the answer and you are still not getting it. And I'll help you write 10. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just to make sure you pass. That's one-on-one. -on -one. But for the group, example, write whatever you know and pass or fail. You are on your own. That's the difference. Uh, Mr. Angie says, boss, please don't close the KDP class. No, no, no. I'm not closing KDP class. Well, you know how many effort I've done and things I've recorded? I'm supposed to be the most angry about KDP, but I'm not because I know that I don't, we don't have only people in Nigeria alone. I have people in UK, US, Canada, everywhere that are in these classes. So there's no way, and those ones don't have problem of pioneer. They have their regular accounts. So everything will finish. I'm just saying for people in the KDP, this one I'm saying now, it's not about that way. It's not like I'm sending messages to everybody in the KDP class and saying, I want to add you to YouTube. No, I just want to show my own benevolence. Like, okay, let's give them that second benefit. So that in case this thing affects them, they have something else to do. You see? I'm just using my church mind. It was there that I thought about it. I didn't think about it before I came. So, it is what it is. Ade Jumo. Ade Yemo. Damnari says, African biggest giant. Well done, sir. Can I link virtual accounts to Fiverr? No, you cannot. Alex Smith says, please, how do I get a virtual card? Just get a gray card or something. But it's, it's almost becoming useless now at this or better still, get UBA prepaid card. I think I like UBA prepaid card more. Tim, Tommy Wa Timothy says, well done, sir. I can't thank you enough for being real. The real deal is blogging and YouTube. I'll join your one-on-one -on -one class. I'll reach out to you. No problem. We're always here. Roast, um, sorry, that moved faster. Okay. Roast React says, sir, how can I buy a SIM card? I don't know. I never bought any, so. OKS N says, well, everything on this earth is bound to crash. Even one of the biggest banks in USA crashed, Silvergate Bank. It's not the biggest like that, though. But we keep moving. Yeah, let's go. Uh, okay, SN says, well, really smart ideas. Lugwen Gaditu says, the implication of KDP rejecting Pioneer is that one has to look for alternatives to withdraw directly to one's Nigeria account. That's if they have not blocked you. So you have to, first of all, remove that Pioneer account from your account. If KDP still have you on, remove Pioneer from it. Don't, don't link anything. Since... Let the money be with them till you can profile a better way of withdrawing. Uh, Olu Gwengadi says, are there awards for YouTubers? Maybe, I don't know. I'm really not following up. Vitaly Sobi says, hi, hi. Meg Socks says, good evening, sir. You are truly a savior, I must say. Please, sir, I just opened the KDP account last week with my Pioneer account, link to it. What can I do? 
just remove the pioneer account because from everything they've said and what I've tried is that virtual account that is uh, problems with it. Timix Mike says, how can I join the beginners class for blogging? Just reach out to me, African Giant One on Twitter, or you go to the description of this video, you see the link to the classroom, giantsclassroom.com, giant with an S, plural, giantsclassroom.com, that does it. Or you can reach out to me on WhatsApp as well, I uh, would attend to you. GIC Comedy says, so what I mean is that instead of adding me to YouTube class, can I get a discounted price so that you can add me to beginner's class? What's this? Beginner's class is, the money on beginner's class is to buy a website. How do I discount money for website? I'm not the one selling the website now. I buy Blue Host and uh, Namecheap. There is no discount for beginner's class. The class is free. 42000 is for your website. The, everything you see in that class is free. So if you say discounted, so it's like I want to buy a website for you. No. After all the software, 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 where are software for that class? You guys need to know that training all these things is not easy. <clears throat> okay. Okay, as N says, is spiritual niche cool? Just asking. Of course, spiritual niche is cool, but it's not profitable. So if that's what you mean. Their RPM is like 0 0.01. 1,000 views, you made 0 0.01. Pfft. Olale Karim says, Good evening, sir. God will continue to bless you. Amen. Kelly Prince John says, Oga, leave pastor talk about the business, leave church, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Okay, this is the last time you ask questions like this on my channel. I'm going to hide you. Thank you. It's funny how people, uh, you know, tell the owner of a channel what to do on their channel. <laughs> Rems of Quenonia says, sir, you're making both common sense and biblical sense. Do you know that during this scarcity of Naira for the past three Sundays now, my pastor always preach about tithes. Yeah, because a lot of people are, are putting pressure on themselves. You know, the work of God and work of man is almost like interjected. Because as a pastor, you see the way I'm running out. I'm doing my own business. I have everything I'm doing separately from what church is doing. So it's like, uh, the, I, I keep saying it. The pastor I like most in Nigeria is Sam Adeyemi. He has jobs, his own. Like he has a life. He has a business. So, God's work is God's work. But by the time you abandon your work, especially in Nigeria, you see, in the olden days, don't let me say olden days, in the Bible, people like Paul, Peter, all of them, they never had a life. The only life they lived was life of Christ. And that's why nobody could actually fault them. Because they were not looking for personal gain. Some of them did not even get married. So, it was easy for anybody to know that even if you give them money, they are using it for God's, God's work expansion. But it's difficult in this era. Me, I have children. I have wife. I drive car. I go buy another one. Okay. If you just see pastor be inside G-Wagon now, and I'm only a pastor, where are they get money by G-Wagon? You understand what I'm saying? There's no way you will not bring tarnish and blemish to God's name. But if you are a business, as I did, if I buy G-Wagon today now, I will know how, where I got the money from now. You understand what I'm saying? Because at least you know this person is working, he can afford things, and it's going to be evident in what you preach. It's not mouth. I never stay anywhere. I ask anybody for one kobo anywhere. Most of when they give me something, I dash it. I said it. Immediately, no, I don't dash it behind you so that you won't think maybe I'm lying. You give me like this, I look around like that. You will see that I dash it and I'll go. So that next time, don't come and give me anything. Just let's bless God together. If you want to give anything, give church. Let church use it to build church, buy more instruments, you know. That one is good. Everybody wears If you come to church and you're enjoying music, is it not all of us that are praising God together? That one is fair. But it's not, it doesn't work like that with most people. And that's why it's very, very difficult nowadays for you to not have a job as a pastor and you're a foot. You even see people, no, 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 make I talk about them. You see people that you can't even employ. They will just be praying in their pastor. I saw one man when we went for hiking. God forgive me, I'm not supposed to sound like this. The best, the people, that was my first time. The people who were there together said, ah, this pastor, don't they blow it? Don't they wear suit? Inside one bush, on top one mountain. They did there, they shout, they scream. And they look all of them like this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Even if you want to pray, it's like, okay, can you just go and sit down with Babalawo every day? Let's use Babalawo now, like Abalist. Can you just be going to your Abalist house every day? Just go and sit down there. Is it possible? Talk, talk. Is it possible? It's almost impossible. Anybody from movies that I see, I've never been to a Babala house before, but for movies that I see, people go to Babala house because they have specific things they need. 
Maybe somebody is dragging their land from them. They will go and tell Baba, Lawo, Baba, this person is dragging my land. Or maybe they are looking for promotion. They want promotion. You know, specific thing. That's what they go to Baba, Lawo, and that one will carry uh, the something, talk, talk, talk. Bah, you say, oh, yeah, don't go, go, you know. And that doesn't mean the person will go there tomorrow, next tomorrow. But when it comes to church, people come to church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, God, what do you can't do for this church? What, what's your prayer point? They don't have it. You don't have a job. Just come once, pray your prayer, get out of here and go and look for the job. God, by the time we finish praying, what did I tell you as a pastor? God has answered your prayer. Let's shout hallelujah. Let's worship God for answering our prayer. So why will you come back tomorrow to come and start talking about the same job again? So that is the own uh, play. I believe they practice that one. You understand what I'm saying? So everybody should understand when you pray, God has answered. Go and look for the job. Let God show. It's like when you are praying to God for the spirit of patience. Maybe you have anger in you. And you are saying, God, I want to be patient. Please give me the spirit of patience. And you say, Jesus, I'm afraid. You left. If God wants to, if you want to know, if God had really given you the spirit of patience, what do you think will happen? God will bring a scenario that will get you angry. And if you are patient, then you have the spirit. Then you know, oh, I'm supposed to have slapped this man and start fighting and go to the police station. No. But now I didn't see anything. Now the spirit is in you. God needs to test whatever you are carrying. So if you say you no get a job, and then you come back to church, back to back to back, either they employ you in that church, or you become a failure. One must happen. And that's the problem with church, because we can go there easily. You know, you can't be going to Babalawa every day now. Anyway, uh, in, K in K on ye God, he says, Hello, sir, I'd like to send a write-up to you. How can I do it? No, only one on one people send write ups to me. I don't, I can't check your write ups. I'm sorry about that. It's a lot of time that I'm, you know, engaging with people, a lot of people. So I can't add more to it unless there's something on the line. Isaac Johnson says, Sabi, what's your take on pastors against Tinubu? I don't know what it means because God had already said in the Bible, nobody gets to position of power unless God allows for it. I really don't drive into politics and all this thing. I just like Peter B because of my personal experience with him. That's why I spoke about him some times ago. But for me to be talking about my own vision, I know they see vision during politician. Because I know they don't control what my life will be or what will come out of it. So why am I under pressure? But you know, those big pastors, they know what I don't know. So maybe that's why. The nature is fighting heavily and angry. So he might have had some information or he had access to some things. Those of us here, we are small. We don't know. So I don't know. Mystery Recap says, please, boss, how did Ezoic ads work? Ezoic ads work on Google ads. If Google ads does not approve you, Ezoic ads cannot work. But they give more money based on premium uh, advertisers. You know, some advertisers can, let's say, close up advertises on your channel, on your blog. Ezoic might not accept close-up. So they only give premium. Like there are some adverts that have more money in it. So they take in the more money. They add partnership with Google. So that's the one they show on their own platforms for people who they have approved. But if Google does not approve you, they will not also approve you. So it's just like that. Abi Okolo says, good evening, Pastor B. Where can I learn how to write articles so I can do freelancing? You can learn from my classroom or even from my YouTube channel. Just type African Giants uh, articles. You see all the different formats that I teach. Okay, Emmanuel Efetoya says, hello. Hello. Okay, yes, and says, being in Nigeria is, being in Nigeria, no easy. Absolutely, I agree with that. Uh, Rose Jack says, sir, can you do a giveaway on your channel? No, zero. I did give away when I did by the last year. Some people abused me for it, and that thing was painful to me. I will never do giveaway. What am I doing giveaway for? Every cobble you make, you work for it. So what's the point? Is anybody helping me by watching my videos? Yes. I'm the one helping people by creating value. I'm just saying, at least for now, did that invest me? Uh, it angered me. They blocked my Twitter account because I wanted to do 1,000 giveaway. And then some people started screaming on me. When we were on the stream, I said I was going to give 1,000 to everybody, to anybody on the stream for data for that day. We were about 112 on that stream. So I expected 112,000. By the time I got to Twitter, we had about 150 something. So I was writing out those names so that the number, phone number, and I knew it was over, but I just, in one spirit, okay, let me just go ahead. And then Twitter deleted my account, like it crashed. I was fighting with Despot Naira. 
with all this their rubbish uh, rubbish that they were doing then maybe they were the ones that reported or something so they deleted the account everybody knew i opened a second account just to continue that fight then and we continued in truth and then after like three days i reached out to customer care three days they checked they saw i didn't do anything wrong they restated my account but now all those other little ones that i have i already got to 128 out of like 151 that was there i was just doing it out of whatever because the other ones were late and we all knew they now started abusing me for my giveaway i said okay so as many people that abuse me i was saying send your account it's for 1000 I, I sent it i keep sending uh, the whole thing went i said never will i ever ever say i want to do giveaway again because to people they say she is just 1000 data but me i've spent 150 something thousand so for what now for you watching me what's that one all the football i've been watching from ateta which day did that not come and give me anything <laughs> i'm just saying each gentleman also says how much is the cost of the class it depends on the class just go to jan's classroom dot com you see everything there daniel luku says what kind of articles will suit u.s audience <laughs> You see all these questions. Blogging is different from this, so there's no way anybody can answer you like this and you even know, have a clue of what's going on. Because there are a lot of things that goes into it before you can get to your audience. Noni Bess is uh, the online beginners class article writing module strategy. Four is not available, and the lesson 13 as well on the same module is not available. Yes, I the one I made for the uh, module four, I feel I didn't do enough justice to it. I tell you, I always do upgrades. So I removed it and I recorded a new one. I have the new one, but now I have to edit and then put it back. So that's what I have not done. Because most of time I just want to go into the best of the best form so everybody can understand. And that's what happened there. Chuxi Maswa says, I mean the idea of you acting as a beggar for a whole day. It won't work because you are well known. No, 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 they won't know it's me. And I'm not well known like that. It's you that think I'm well known. No, it's you that know me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> if I walk on the street and I'm dressed this way, Normal people will see me. Even normal face cap. I, most time, if I'm going out, I just wear face cap. Most people don't know it's me. You know, you, most people see me on screen this way. So they really don't know how I look on my body. So when I walk out and wear face cap to cover my face, that's it. Most people don't know. The only few people will call my name here and there. Maybe George, African giant. But it's not as bad as celebrities, you know. At least not now. So if I now dress and paint my face and wear rags and all... Costume will change my face. They won't know. Adekoya Gabriel says, Sir, when will KDP Masterclass students be added to you? Class, uh, you, you have to reach out to me because there's no way I would know what's up. It's not like I'm adding everybody. It's only people that are following up. That's the advantage of you following up with me, like Sundays and all. That's when I give that. So you have to reach out to me on the WhatsApp group, and then I'll do that. Noni Best says, <clears throat> Please, sir, what... That your staff that travel to study in the US, if you can give us step guide on how you travel. No, I'm I'm not doing that. I'm not doing all those uh, give step, give step. <laughs> um, there are things I don't, uh, I just mentioned it, but it's not like I have interest in showing. Human beings are not what they are. Like somebody was telling me, because I played football, he was saying I should come and give him link to the club that I went to that time, multiplayer and all that. I said, no, I know they give anything. Forget. I've been there. You know my age now and what I've done. Human being, I know what they are on the outside. Roast reacts says, sir, is there money on Forex? No. If you put your money on Forex, you are going to lose the money, 100%. And quote me anywhere, 100%, you will lose the money. <coughs> okay, I think I have to drink water. Adekoya Gabriel says, can GPA account be added to KDP? No, all those accounts are virtual accounts. You can only get a real bank account. Walk into a bank in US or UK or Canada, the account they give you is a real account. That's one you can use. Any other one, Jaguagantis. Jude Christopher says, Happy Sunday, Pastor B. Good evening. Stephen Kagula says, Sir, I asked if you can give me direct clients on academic writing. How much would you charge me per client? No, I can't. I'm, you know, looking for leads is a lot of work and there's no time to go ahead with that. That's why I can't. Not like I don't know, but I can't because of time. I'm so fixed with time. Alpha Danjuma says, Sir, is the website the same with blogging or is it a different thing? Just need one enlightenment. Website and blogging is the same, but you can use a website for multiple things. E-commerce website is still a website. Directories are still a website. Everything you see online that is WWE is a website. But what you now, uh, 
design it for. It's just like a car. You have a car designed to be a taxi. You have one for luxury. You can't use those drugs for taxi, technically, you know. Everyone has what they're designed for, but they're all cars. They all use fuel. They all use plug and batteries. Drivers drive them, you know. So that's our website is as well. African Rabbit Pharmacies. I like that name. It says, I, good evening. I just monitored my YouTube. I just monetized my YouTube channel. That's wonderful. I actually love your name. African Rabbit Farmer. Wonderful. Isaac Johnson says, the pastors say, eat in Ubu with Islamized Nigeria. Okay. We'll wait and see. I don't think so. I don't if if that's the case, I don't think so. If uh if Buhari that is like a real Islamic person did not Islamize Nigeria, is it Inubu that is liberal? I don't think so. It was Obasanjo that started Sharia now and is a Christian. I don't think so. Everybody's just saying what they mean. You can't really determine what somebody you have not met, it's not like you are talking to him, not like you hear him say stuff like that. How do you determine what he does? I don't think so. Abi Okolo says, when can one call you? You can call me. You can only send me text on WhatsApp. I don't pick calls. Call take a lot of time. I've not picked... I can't pick anybody's call, basically, unless it, I call you. So if what we have to discuss, I know what it is, and it's important, I'll call you. I call people in one-on-one, -on -one, I'm the one that call them. You have to just send a message to me on WhatsApp. I'll determine if it's good, and then that's it. Uh, Abi Okolo says, that's true. I lost $1,000 doing Forex. You lose your house, lose your car, lose everything if you go into Forex. The people that are teaching Forex are the ones making money off it because they will collect the money from you, you will pay them. Can you imagine if I'm teaching Forex on this channel? A lot of people will come. I, I know Forex since 2008. I did it for two years to 2010. There is no way you can make profit off it. Don't let anybody deceive you. They'll be telling you, it's a lie. Some people will be arguing with me now. You come and tell me how much you have made now. People teaching it are those that are making money. People who have platforms. They'll tell you there are some senior traders that you can copy their trade. You can copy their trade now. They are the ones that set everything there. They are the ones raking in the money. It's fraud. Individuals don't trade for us. Foreign exchange is different from what people are doing now. But people use it as hype. I've even seen people where they say, what do you do? You say, I'm, I'm an engineer and I also trade Forex. You know, it's too short on the high. Somebody like me, when people meet me, what do you do? I, I'm an author. I write books. That's all. It's not too short. And I mean, even now, I don't say what I do. When people ask me, what do you do? I say, I don't have a job. That's what I say now. What do you do? I don't have a job. How do you now live? I live for a living. That's all. Everybody will just laugh. They think it's a joke. I'm not interested in telling because I have like 15 things I'm doing. So I can't just come up and say, I'm an author. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a blogger. I'm an affiliate marketer. I'm, I'm an entity. People just looking at you as if you don't know what you are doing. Because you can't be mentioning multiple things. So it has to be one. And now I can't just, before I'm an author, which is what I always say, but I don't like Hindu again. So I'm not even talking anything. I just say, I, I'm, I'm not doing anything. Say, really? Yes. And that's it. Anyway, we have gotten to the end of it all. Thank you very much for coming. Did I finish the questions? Adetok CCM says, boss, thanks so much for being who you are. Please, sir, does it mean that all the advice, all you advise us to, to do now is blogging on YouTube alone? Yes. That's, if you're in Nigeria, I think that's the best option. I'm telling you, I have thought about this over and over and over. If I'm in Nigeria, YouTube and blogging. Forget about anything. Affiliate marketing will come under the two naturally. But you don't have to overwork it because your blogs will carry affiliate links, your YouTube will carry affiliate links. And then you will get uh, sponsors, you know. I think it's worth you put all your energy in this too. That's all. Forget about every other thing, basically. Adekoya Gabriel says, I've chatted you on WhatsApp, sir. I've not been added to KDP WhatsApp group. Okay. I'll check that out. Nkeonye Godi says, So what about WhatsApp group number? It's in the description of this video. You can check up. you see my WhatsApp there. Uh, Adekoya Gabriel says, So withdrawing on KDP is a serious issue now. Yeah, it is. That's if your account has not been blocked before it even becomes extra serious. Rachel Buy Recipe says, What about dollar accounts? That we open in Nigeria. It's not accepted on KDP. African Rabbit Pharmacies, sir, I used your strategy on your second channel to push my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I have a giant two bit skull. That's why I teach YouTube. It, that's why it's saying that is the strategy to monetize this channel. Yes, it works. Abi Okolo says, Can you teach how to create an e commerce website? Yes. 
That's not uh, any big deal. Benga Luf alone from says, Good evening, Pastor. Good morning, Pastor B. Good morning. Uh, Kenneth CJ Ejaya says, Sir, is it ideal to run five accounts using another country's VPN? No, it's not ideal. You won't have their phone number to verify, so it's a waste of time. Uh, Coninos Adewale says, Can blogging get overpopulated? No, absolutely. There are like gazillions of niches that nobody's writing anything about. So it can't. It's only when you go to the ones that are saturated. Well, the ones that people are writing things about, making money online, relationship, parenting, all these things, uh, that's the one that is a problem. But you go to the ones that nobody's saying anything about. Like there are, I just, ah, how people they miss them? I don't know. Maybe, you know, we've done this a longer time and then we are used to it. So it becomes like second, you know, second life. But ideally, that's why it's always good. Okay. Amid Nureni says, how do I get access to your online beginner's class? It's on giantsclassroom.com. You see the online beginners class. You can reach out to me on Twitter at uh, African Giant One. I'm, I'm there. And then if you check the description of this video as well, you see all the links. Uh, Tommy Sinawoni says, ah, this man is a legend. <laughs> legend, Iqua. Now, now we they start to. Don't worry, I'll make you proud. If you call me legend now, it's good. But I will be a legend. I'll make you very, very proud. You'll be proud that you know me. At least all over the world, you know. And then you say we started together. That's why I'm encouraging everybody to let us move in this direction. So you won't just be saying, I know African Giant, he knows me, my, my name is this, we were here together. We're... And then uh, when you're saying that, where are you now? You know, where people will say, ah, oh, we went to the same secondary school. And then the person you are saying is the governor of the state and you are where? You are a teacher, where? are earning 72,000 in one private, public, whatever. That's not what I want. At least when you say he's my friend, let that friend be able to even call you a friend as well. So that movement, let it continue. And money is a very vital part of it, which is why you have to make sure you're blogging and you're doing YouTube. Very, 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 very important. Adeko Yagibre says, I hope we get added to YouTube class soon for KDP students. Yes, we'll fix all of that. You know, like I said, I just thought about it here. So the way you people are hustling me now, like I already have a template for it. I have to go and create the template for it. Nothing just happens, boom, like that. So, but reach out to me. If you are in KDP and you would like to join the YouTube, let me know. I, would, I, would, I have to check you out to see if you are the person, you know. Not like I'm just going to add everybody. Don't forget that people are paying to join the YouTube Masterclass. Okay? Tommy C. Arewoni, he says, I was learning from one of your videos and I figured you are on live. Reaching out to you on Twitter to thank you personally. Thank you very much. He says, God bless you, sir. Thank you. I'm grateful. Mickey Riches says... So give us a hint on a YouTube video on choosing one of your gazillion niches. Give us a hint on YouTube video. Yeah, uh, for niching. No. You see, some of these hidden things, I teach everything you see online has about four or five depth. Some people don't know. Look, if I write an article, you write the same article. No matter what, if you like, you chat, chat them GP anyhow. I'm going to beat you at it if you give it to a natural person to read. Because there is level to every madness. Some people are mad on level one. It's like game, PS2, PS3, PS5, whatever. Some people are mad on level five, some are on level seven. That's wealth as well. Money is also in levels. Power is also in levels. House of Assembly has power. Governor has power. Uh, Senator has power. President has power. So it's like that. There is, when it comes to niches, it's more of inspiration and what you've seen before and what you can think out and even me when i get inspiration i check i research and i get i write it down that's how i always do it i tap it down so i won't forget so that's the way i would teach that here i, I taught it in the beginners class i taught like one and two levels master class has all the other levels like the other three four five levels so most time i shift it because i won't when some people are paying for something i won't just come and be giving I'll give some free here and there, but not like everything free. That's why I just go and try and join the class. That's that's just my own. Okay. Adela Jalada says, I want to upgrade to one on one by May. Hope the price will not increase then. No, I'm not increasing price though. Me, I'm not always about price. Forget. The only reason why beginners beginners class, we started it from twenty thousand now. Then dollar was maybe three hundred. But dollar had gone to seven hundred and something. So I'm following the dollar. If dollar crashes back, I'll crash the price back. I'm not into money, oh. Forget. It's God that blesses. <laughs> That's just my own. 
and I know better and know enough now. So I'm not increasing any money. All the classrooms will be what they are forever, as if. Now, what, where am I increasing it to? They will just be there. I know somebody will quote me on this one day. The only reason why beginner's class increased was because of the dollar. You know, I'm buying dollar with the website. But all these beginners, all these uh, Fiverr master class, did that increase the money? No, all of them are there. Simply because those ones, it's not dollar. I'm the one you are paying. So what, why am I increasing it? So they are there. Uh, Richie Recipe says, I actually opened my account last month and I linked Gray account to it. Yeah, we continue working. I'm sure one of these days you will receive your own account has been blocked. <laughs> Amid Noreni says, African Giants, you are one of the best content creators that's teaching real stuff online, I swear. Thank you very much. Timmy Gift says, please, sir, I have checked out the website Giant Mentorship Class, but I have not seen the fee for the one-on-one. -on -one. No, it's 200000 It's not even the Giants class. You have to reach out to me personally. That's why we call it one-on-one. -on -one. You can't want to pay me and not get to me. <laughs> You have to get to me. Most one on one, you have to pay to me directly. It's, it's, um, it's me and you. <laughs> so you have to get to me. So either you reach out to me on Twitter, African Giant One, or you reach out to, just go to the description of this video. You see my phone number, email, everything is there. So you can reach out to me on WhatsApp. Then we take it from there. Uh, African Rabbit Pharmacy. Some people teaching how to make money online are just using other people to get referrals. Thanks for your transparency. Yes, I don't have a choice because we are in Nigeria now. If we are after the country now, they can be saying click here, click here. Yeah, there is nothing to click. So you have to follow the real road. It's more stressful here. But if you follow that stress, you become more successful. Everything in Nigeria is more stressful. People that are going to Japan now that are in UK, all of them are saying what they study there in the university is like times 20 harder than the way they are studying there. And the certificates there will be more influential than the ones who get here. Everything about Nigeria is terrible. But I'm sure God will help us, yeah. Adela Jalada Kosesa, is there any secret to your wealth of knowledge? Yes, reading. You have to read a lot of books. A lot. A lot of books. The last, when I stopped counting, the number of books I read was 18,320-something. So I stopped counting. Because it was not embarrassing everybody when I mentioned the number of books I've read. So I'm no longer mentioning it. But I remember I stopped at 18,320 or so. I read a lot of books. A lot of books. Talk about anything. Like I read witchcraft, read, talk about anything. There's nothing. Somebody said, is there anything you don't know? I said, there will be, but I've not seen, you know. Because <laughs> knowledge is everywhere now. It's just your interest. Knowledge is everywhere. And the more knowledge you have, the more it will be easy for you to see through things and dissect issues. Some people are having relationship problems now. Just looking at them. You only one girl. You can't. You say you love the girl, you are crying. You love one girl, you can't talk to one girl. So you cannot impress one girl. And you are an adult. Because you are foolish, you don't really know. And whatever you don't know, you can never be aware of. And when you are not aware, you are just there. I've been saying this for what? I've been doing live like this three, four hours for every Sunday. For the past two years and a half years. And I've never repeated. If I was repeating myself, nobody would even be there. I'm closing and we still have about 90-something people. Almost 100 people here. And I'm not a celebrity. You can imagine, I'm a regular guy like you, everywhere. I started this YouTube from zero, right from where I'm seated today. Zero. And one, one, two, three, four, five people are joining. And now I have three monetized channel on YouTube in two and a half years. And it's going to be incredible by the end of this year. You see how many channels I will have that month? I will have like eight or nine. All of them will be doing very well. Because you see that podcasting that I just did? It's massive with a lot of staffs. You know, when you add staffs to whatever you are doing, the volume of production will go. I'm the only one that does all this work alone. So now that I have staffs that will now, because I'm recruiting staffs now, and these ones are proper people now that I will train for three months. So by the time we get to like June, everything will done set by God's grace. You see what I'm talking about? It's books. Heavy book. And if I'm to put my number one book, Bible. <laughs> and it's strange. I keep telling people, just read your Bible. Don't read your Bible because you're a Christian. Read it like you want to read the storybook. Read it for inspiration. Read it for ideas. When I was looking for businesses I wanted to do, we launched Giant Six. We can even show another one. <laughs> then you see why I'm saying all this. Because at the end of the day, everything needs to get to the top. Let's go. You see that? <laughs> we have started branding. That's giant six, you see? 
Now, all the companies, everything that I had, I collapsed it into this. That's why it's called Giant Six. I have six companies. I've collapsed it into one because I don't want it to spread out this way. And that's it. Giant Six with the crown. My, yeah, that's the new baby in town. So we are, this is what we are pushing till when I, you can even see my Twitter page. All the other things I wrote, I removed them. I just put CEO Giant Six. So, and I had uh, uh, Giant University, Giant is everything. So we did all the branding from Cobbs, Mock, Chairs, everything in that volume. So, but I wore this one today. I just wanted to, I'm, I'm the first, this is the first one I just pull out. Even the website, I have not built it. I just bought everything and put it there because it's step by step by step. We have the fitness center, you have the real estate, you have, so all of them are just the petrochemicals and all. It, it looks as if it's a joke. And that's how it's built. So by the time I get to 50 now, everybody will now say, ah, I did become a billionaire. Do you are seeing it live? I always tell people, when a woman saw me today and said, Do you your aura is this year? I say, you are seeing greatness. Some people say that I'm cocky. I say, yes. So make I say I'm poor, I'll be, I'm stupid. No. I say, you are in the presence of greatness. You can't really say it. I'm not beautiful in the eye. Not like I'm fine. It's not like the clothes I wore is fine. But you're looking. Something is radiating around me. I say it's greatness. That's what they call greatness. When David was small, everybody noticed. Saul saw it. That's why he could be anointed as king as a small age. You won't be able to tell it. You just know that something is here. <laughs> That's not the first time I've married. This year, people have told me that like 15 times. But you see, you can't get there when you're stupid. Let's put it that way. There's nobody that mistakenly get there. You understand what I'm saying? Just mention everybody you know that is at the top. I'm not saying politicians. So because in Nigeria, when you say somebody is successful, it's only politicians that your mind will go to. Politicians are not successful. They are very, they are just leaders. Fire China, when he was governor, Chaka Juku, Chaka, now that he's not governor, you don't see him anywhere. Oh, you post since 1980, what is he, has he backed down? So real successes are different from politicians. But unfortunately in Africa, it's politician that is a role model. Everybody want to become Fashola, want to become Fayemi. Become Buhari, that's what everybody's looking at. That's not what I want to be. Look at captains of industries. People like a Lumelu. Aha. That's the definition. You are fit, you are healthy, you are wealthy, you are helping everything on. All those dangote. We drawing $10 million from a bank. Carry it to your house so that you confirm you are rich. That was what Dangote did and then brought it back to the bank. <laughs> Aha, that's it. It all starts from this. Because your beginning is not the ending. You know, in Africa, it's only people get a job, they pay them $750, and then they die retiring like that. Then they build one shopping complex and they have one small hotel somewhere. And then people in the street, hey, wealthy man, wealthy man. No. Like I told you, there are levels to it. And if you are aiming at the sun, even if you fall, you fall on the sky. But if you aim at the roof of your house, you fall back to your bed. So you are still nothing. So that's why sometimes you set out goals. I want to travel out. <laughs> the question is, those people that travel out, what did they do? They came back with cars and that's your grandpa car and gave you 200,000 and then bought one land that they said they would build. And now they've traveled for 12 years. The land they are still building, they say it's event center or, you know, like that, is, your, that your dream is not solid enough. Go and look for the dream that will not let you sleep. But you won't get it unless you start reading. You need to know more than your generation before you can control the generation. If you go to uh, all these courts that Peter B. everybody had gone to now, ask the CGN there. They will tell you. They have read all this, they have something. They will tell you in 1972 when there was a fight between MK, this and this and that. Why are they that fluent? Because they know. Even somebody like me, maybe I was here when somebody was arguing with me on a part of the Bible. I just did like this. Ogami, I know the Bible. Like, my name. This is, I'm not talking, and I, I don't read the Bible because I want to preach to you. Or mm -mm, I consume it, I eat it, I digest it. And I've read this uh, from every angle from since 1995. I gave my life to Christ. December 8th. So you now come here and be telling me, Cleopatra, even if you gave your life to Christ 10 years ago, how many of the Bible have you read? Since 1995, I've been reading the Bible. Back to back to back to back to back. No job, no job. The only we don't interpret and join me. I mean, even me, I want tire. I'm not tired. I'm still the enjoy. I'm going. Now be again, Bible. No, I will just ask you two questions, interpret it, 
I won't even quote anything. Just ask you questions. You, you confuse yourself. You discover you don't really know it. And that's what it is. But all of these, because what book, I'm going to close now, what book gives to you is to give you the insight into people's life that you never knew. That's the point I studied the 100 billionaires, the most richest people in the world, 100 of them. I studied all of them. I did four years on them. 100 people, four years it took me to study them. Like I told you, I'm not always in a hurry at all for anything. I can wait five years to achieve my dream. I don't care. I can wait 10 years. I'm not running anywhere. That's the way I am. You know, people are always in a hurry. I must do it today. I have to make what was the fastest way to make $10. I don't want the fastest way. I always like the slowest way. Because that's when you can learn and consume everything along the way. Because you can be successful and you go and make an error in success and then you fail again. And that's the worst. <laughs> you know, if you are poor from the beginning, at least you know you are poor. But now you become wealthy and then you can come back to poor. Most people don't survive it. They will die of hypertension, stroke and all of these stuff. So it's better I am slow. So that any day I get there, I know I'm there. If I'm traveling to Lagos and I'm slow, I wish I get there. When I get to Lagos, it's that this is Lagos. It's better than when you're fast, and then your car just crashed on something, go give blah, blah, blah. and then they put your hospital, they say back, back problem forever. I hope this is making sense to you. So that's that's my strategy. That's the strategy of the wealthy. Dangote had been building that in his refinery since when? 2000 and what? 16 or something. We are 23. That's about how many years? Seven years. And it's still there. It's not like I started selling anything. So the wealthy can hold on for five, six, ten years. There was a building that I did there. It was an hotel of one, thirty something rooms. They have not launched. I, I did their DSTV since 2016. And cameras. They have not launched it today. Rich men understand the value of investment. Otherwise, Jesus had died since 2000 something years now to save us. Why did he not just come the next day? Maybe he's coming back to carry us. Hey, should I just, uh, so if God can create the whole heaven and earth in seven days, how many days will it take God, Jesus, to build our house? Maybe he said he's going back to heaven to go and prepare a place for us. So he never finished him. He's the Almighty now. He could have finished. But they are never in a hurry. Patience is key. Golden. Most people don't have it. That's why anything the youth are doing, I don't like it. Because they are never patient. Everything, group, 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 group. If you are supporting Arsenal Football Club, if Aston wins the next five matches, ah, Ateta is the best. Let him lose the next one. Oh, this will like say Ateta knows I'll be substitution. No? <laughs> I hope you know. Because I always watch football outside. And any day I watch football, I'll put my big earpiece. I don't want to hear all these people talking. Because they are irritating me. But you know, and that's the downside of somebody like me. Everybody that opens their mouth to talk to me, they are wrong. You know, it's a very terrible thing. <laughs> Most people are thinking, ah, this man is blessed. He has brain. You see that brain? They disturb me. Oh. <laughs> I don't talk to people at all. At all. Because if I'm like this, if you say two things, the two is wrong. If you say ten, the ten are wrong. I'm just telling you the truth. Because most people don't know that their level in intelligence and the ability to understand things are like this. And those of us that are like, Heavy, heavy on this. We are like this. So it now looks as if you are the best of the best and then everybody is stupid. And no man will want them to be stupid or woman. No. If it's a woman, women will like their men to be more intelligent. But for a man, just the way they feel like. Now only it's a bit the way he gets off, you know? Especially if you are intelligent and you didn't have money. Like me, I was this intelligent when I had no money. Zero. So you can imagine <laughs> with that level of intelligence and you have nothing. But I knew God was preparing me. So I continued to read. My best reading time was when I was poor. Because nobody was calling me. Family had deserted me. There was no... Nobody was sending me anything. So I have all the time in the world. Every money I had, instead of buying shoes or clothes, is data. And I'm downloading this, I'm downloading that. I will be reading, I will be listening. Like I was going crazy about knowledge. Because I, it's only one part of the Bible that I saw. <laughs> That's why I said, start from the Bible, please. Let the Holy Spirit keep leading you. Start from the Bible. As the, since the day I saw that thing, I had gone crazy completely about knowledge. That's what, I, I'm not even counting my books again. Even my wife is saying, please, can I join? Because my wife is seeing the massive difference between me and her. We got married together, not my young, young people. But today, it's like I was a professor when she got married to me. And I wasn't. Look, the Bible was clear. I'm going to say this and I will close. With knowledge, 
God created heaven and earth. With knowledge. He says with wisdom, he runs it. The way I'm saying it, I don't like it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm, I'm going to, I'm trying to get you that. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to get you that. Aha. Please, if you have your Bible, follow me and read. This was what I saw that changed my life. And I'm doing like one of these pastors that only preach one part of the Bible. Throughout his lifetime, he was a very extremely big pastor. I can't remember his name. It's only John 3.16 that he preaches. Everywhere he goes throughout the world. He doesn't preach it. They say he's coming to preach today as soon as God, John 3 16. <laughs> because the truth is, the light in one verse of the Bible is okay. All these people that will be quoting 17, 18, 25 places in the Bible, I don't understand. One lesson that you have carried, you can't finish it throughout your lifetime. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 19. <laughs> ah, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 19. Proverbs chapter 3. I'm saying it continuously. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 19. For people who want to type it down, write it down, cram it, whatever. This is this is everything you need. This was everything I needed. I don't know if that's everything you need. Your own, you might need money or whatever. Thank you, Carlo Numa, Billy Graham. That's what they call it. I don't know names and I don't... I have a lot of things in my brain. I can't remember names or anything again. So I'm just there. Let me read from here. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 19. The Lord founded the heart by wisdom and established the heavens by understanding. By his knowledge, the watery depths were broken open and the clouds dripped with dew. Meaning, this water in this, every water you see was created by his knowledge. The dews, rain that fall, seasons were created by his knowledge. So look at this. The Lord founded the heart with wisdom and established the heavens with understanding and by his knowledge, the water... See, the Bible was clear. They would say, a leaf cannot fall from a tree without God knowing. People think it's a joke. He knows everything. He understands it. He knows the number of grain of sand, knows the depth between this and this to make rain fall, knows when the cloud will build, knows when it's like an engineer. Engineers now them they build. You can't just be building anything unless you understand what dimension is. And how did God prove that? When God told Noah to build the ark, he gave him specific instructions of what wood, what measurement, what to do. He knows what the water that is coming as flood will be. He knows the volume. He knows what you put on it that will sustain it. He knows everything. And before you can know anything anywhere, just go back to how you understood what ABC is in primary school. How did you learn it? Because nobody knows anything. Before you know something, what do you think is? Somebody had to teach you, sir, before you know something. Before you know how to walk, they have to teach you. Even to breastfeed a child, you have to, the mother has to paddle. You have to be taught. So the problem you have now is nobody is teaching you every, anything because you think you know. Everything you lack, you are supposed to learn, but you are not. Because your own is money, money, money. They, they already scammed you that everything is money. Oh yeah, now, continue. You will tell me how everything is money. You have children now, you don't know what you are passing to them. Negative energy, fear. Some children are afraid. Ah, no, kegu say mulo. Some children are afraid in their father's house because their daddy exhibit fear. Some parents are crying. You don't know how to protect your children against anything because you are a useless father. And I'm not sorry to say it. Simply because there's no knowledge. Your own is money, money. Even if they give you that money, you are like a baboon. A chimpanzee that has money. Because there is no sense. Because they, nobody values knowledge here in Nigeria. Everything is money. Because you can see this stupid senator that has plenty of money and is not helping the community. And people will still celebrate him. So you think that's how life should be. That's not it. 
Value is what life is all about. If you can now use that value to transform to money, ah, you're the best kind of man on earth. Everybody in and around you enjoy it. Someone like me, I offend people. And without me knowing, they forgive me in advance and still defend me. Because they know the value that comes out of it. The day I saw Proverbs 3 19, that was the game changer for me. That was the game changer for me. Because absolutely, there is no way anywhere that God would have created everything we saw today by what he knows. That means he learned. So it's not the day that God started. Okay, now, God had been existing for years before he created heaven and earth. Do you know why he was in there? He was learning because you have to learn before you can implement. That's why he doesn't rush his things. Otherwise, when Adam and Eve fell from the Garden of Eden, he would have just said, oh yeah, Jesus, come and save them. Make them no come up for here. Abi? <laughs> he, he could have done that. Say, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Save them. No, 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 no. No, make them no go. But, yes. That's why I was praying when they, see, my brother was saying there are too many pastors in Nigeria. They, 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 they walk and not start. I was laughing. See, God can only spare two people in Nigeria and kill the whole 200 and something million. Human race, we are called. It's not personal. Human race. If everybody die and remain one man, one woman, they begin born again. They go still born under 200 million. God is not in the hurry. It's not, say, what I finished for grand. I believe in finished for hope. Season shall not end unless Jesus come back. So time and season will always exist. It's we that we can go and come. Time and season, they there. So it's, and uh, Colinus Adewale says, did God knew Adam and Eve would eat the apple? Of course he knows, but he cannot control it. He, God created the world based on choice. That's one thing most people don't know. Some people even said, why did he not kill the devil? Why did he send the devil to the world? Some people, are, they were asking me that in Bible study. And I was telling them, God created the world on choice. God is a God of choice. He doesn't force anything, anybody, Anyhow, it does not show supremacy like we human beings want to show. It gives everybody choose. And the Bible was clear. He said, this is life. This is death. I encourage you, choose life. But you can still choose and do anything. You can stand up on your house and shout, there's no God. God is stupid. God is stupid. You think he will come and kill you and turn that fire? No. It's choice. Maybe you have chosen that you want to abuse me today. Tomorrow you can choose that God is the ultimate. You will only reap what you sow. <laughs> so, whatever you are sowing, you will just be reaping continuously. Nothing because I got with you. That's why anybody can do anything. Evil can drive. Good can drive. Because this is how God will look. He is not, he does not control anything. He has created everybody to be on their own. Human beings breath. We carry God. But we can still even disown him. And that is the principle I use to run my things. My staffs, my children, they can do anything. I don't control. Unless it's absolutely going to harm you. Absolutely. But in most cases, things don't harm people. So what are you controlling? My father, don't go out. Don't wear these clothes. Why are you wearing red? Why did you leave your nail? What? They, con they use control to destroy our life when we were younger. Me? If my child says he wants to keep his nail, keep it, I'm looking. What, what sin is in keeping your nail? None. Why were you beating me over the years? Ten years that they beat me because of keeping nail. At the end of the day, I grow old now. I know, say, if you keep me a dirty day. They did not explain these things to us. Me, I thought when your nail is long, because I had chickens and all, they know they cut nails. So when I was younger, rabbits, their nails were longer. So I wanted to be like my... Those are the people I play with, rabbits. I kept nails. They should have just told me that if you want to eat, the death under your nail will go to your mouth, you will be sick. Simple. Nobody told me anything. My father would just come. Why is your knee long? With rule on your head. Go, 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 go. Go and cut your knee. So I kept wondering, why? what's going on? <laughs> if you keep big head like the hair like this. My papa, we don't they get bald head? Bald head. Now why they come out in your hair? And we, 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 they young. Our head is still like this. You beat us. Your hair is too long. Go and cut it. Go and cut it. Like, okay. You see me now, I old now. They leave my hair. What, what was now the point? So, I don't do that. Let everybody breathe. Let them leave. Some husbands are controlling their wife. He wants to go out. He says, why are you wearing that daughter? Why are you wearing this? Unless it's open or it's so terrible, let them breathe. Even you, you will breathe well. Because you are not under pressure. 
and that works. And that's how God runs the everything. After all, whether you are good or you are bad, you are still coming back to him. So it doesn't really make much difference. Okay. Optimus Finances does a four uh, gigabyte Chromebook hang when making videos with OBS. I don't use my Chromebook for recording. I use a normal HP. So I can't mention that. I can't really answer that. Okay. Did I miss anything? Me, I won't go. I don't just reach out. Okay, let's... Uh, Rachi by recipe says, apart from reading books, you are a very unique being. It's very human being. It is every human being that can sacrifice time to read books, especially in Africa. Yeah. If you know where your power is going to come from, then absolutely you're looking for power. It's like Tinobu is forcing everybody to become president because he feels that's the power he needs. Me, I'm forcing myself to read because I know that's where the power comes from. Aha, I almost missed that. Now, the backup of this, I'm going to give the props to Bishop Oyedepo. One of the videos, it was one of my secretary in Ekiti that invited me to their video. Then my wife traveled, so I just didn't want to go to the house alone. And then she said, let's go to Viji. She, they attend winners. I had uh, like uh, three of them live together. Three of my staffs then, the ladies, they live together. So I took them. I know they wanted me to carry them anyway. <laughs> so I followed them and then we went to the uh, video, which was winners. So in between, when Bishop was talking that day, Bishop Yodepo now, he was speaking and said something about, if you want to, and I'm going to say it specifically the way he said it. He said, if you want to win the battle of your home, your house, say read 10 books. That most men are having problems with their home, like family, money. He said, read 10 books. Meaning, go and get 10 books about family, marriage, whatever. Different, different books. Read 10. He said, you will conquer their home. He says, if you want to conquer your streets, read 50 books. You'll be known on your street like you conquer that street. He says, if you want to be known in your community, which is now like accumulation of streets, like town, he says, read 100 books. He says, if you want to be known in your state, read 500 books. If you want to be known in your uh, country, he says, read 1,000 books. If you want to be known in the world, read 5,000 books. That was what he said. Though. Me, I sat down, I'm like, I'm going to read 10,000. <laughs> that was what was on my mind. That's why I started counting books. I said, I'm going to read 10,000. I'm going to read 10,000. So I divided 10,000 by a number of years. I gave myself eight years at that time. I was going to use in 8,000. I read it. So I started. Instead of reading four, four books, five, five books per day, sometimes I read eight. I read it. I was... I was going crazy about it. I didn't even know what it meant to win your street or win anywhere. I was just going for it that way. It's today, it worked. <laughs> and that's the props to Bishop Oyedepo. Okay, I think I finished up. Uh, Pukawit Crown says, I appreciate your good works. I joined late. Please, how can I start? I can't start explaining again. You have to watch uh, again this uh, stream. I put it back live after we are done. Gladys Weight Loss says, uh, if one is writing on a blog or niche that has left two information on Google, is it a good niche? Yes, it might be a good niche, but you know, you have to determine that if you have information on your own. You can go and read books and come back and blog with it. Okay. Um, Jimmy Jam says, sir, staff doesn't have plural, but one could use members of staff. Staffs. Okay, I didn't know that. Let me check. Oh, I think there is light now. Staffs or staff. Wait, though. Did the inverter just go off? That will be crazy. Or is it, is it never? Anyway, I'm done. So <laughs> I think it was waiting for me. Oh. Uh, I don't think you are right, though, because I just checked on that now. I've never had that before, and I'll just pop on that. I put, what's the plural of staff? It says staff or staffs. It says the correct word is staff. If you are referring to a group of people within an organization, you can use the plural staffs 
to refer to more than one body of staff. There is staffs. You see that? So I wasn't wrong or the same. Uh, anyway, that's English. Yeah, this the uh, budget. Okay, let me read another form. There's another one that still says there is staffs. Staff in is itself a plural noun used for a collective noun like people and can refer to one person or 100 employees. If, however, you wanted to refer to the respective staffs of more than one company, the plural in that case is staffs. <laughs> there is staffs. <laughs> okay. Oh. Nah. Maybe Nigeria we do. There is staffs. <laughs> Ibrahim Abiyadi says good night. Sir. Yes, good night. So I just wanted to say because I've never heard that before. You know, that was why I, I checked up on that. Dictionary rule lags. It says, sir, concerning blue boat, it's not loading for proceed payment. You can pay to me directly. Just reach out to me. I will send you. I'll download the login for you. All right. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, Dati Okon says, sir, staff doesn't have plural. Jimmy is correct. But we just read it on Google now. I'm just reading what is there now. <laughs> Tabi? Me, I don't know what it is. They say staff is plural, but you can use staffs if you have body of people that are still working from different companies and all. Anyway, this is just use of English. It has nothing to... Uh, OSI says there is nothing like staffs, though. Oh, hello. <laughs> Maybe you guys should Google what I Googled. I don't know the difference. So you know me, I don't know anything about that. I just Googled it. I'm just speaking English like who oh, I thought. But uh, I, I never knew that. If you say staff, staffs. But they are still saying staffs. And they are also saying staff. So OSI OS, says staff is staff. But that's not what Google is saying, no. Staff is not staff. There are staffs. There is staff, there is staffs. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. We'll continue next week. Just check it. OSI, check it. Staff is one or more workers, yes. But staff is when you have one or more worker from this company, one or more worker from this company, one or more worker from this company is now staffs. <laughs> no, it's not money, it's knowledge. You know, I hear somebody say, you know, they put money for pocket. No, it doesn't matter. If you know when you said it, I said, Oh, I didn't know. If I check it and it's staff staff, I will start saying staff. I won't say staffs. I just wanted the truth about knowledge. That's what we call knowledge. I'm proving to you how I go about things. I want to know the truth, not to concern me with what I know before. What I know before is what had brought me to this position. What I know next will take me to the next position. So I'm not worried about what I know. That's why I agree with every form of information. And if I don't know something, I don't know. So I go look for it. For example, I have known staff, staff. I know the difference now. So forever now, I already know. So that's how to loan. Nobody, I don't care about whatever. Anyway, let's just call it a night. This one, I'm also using something. Let me go and put on Jen now. It looks like the inverter is off. So back to Jen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mickey Richie says good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.